And are we up and running again on the YouTubes? There we go. Fantastic. Now it's all up and running. Cool beans, cool beans. What's the issues? No, it's, I think it's because uh, this PC isn't really, doesn't have a lot of memory. So I think um, Hannah's Valheim saves made it crash or something. Weirdly enough, I don't blame me, Hannah. It's me. I, I should have like checked a better hard drive for her. But it wasn't the mold stream. It was uh, memory loss that made a uh, blue screen, actually. Now everything is up and running. Cool beans. Um, sorry about that been down blame wife no i'm it is my fault though but it's um i should i should have had the saves and like the install in a different hard drive I, I should just get a different hard drive for that pc that p the other pc is made for sort of made like really for uh, i built it just for as an encoding pc that's it that's where we I should have checked that one because I did warn yesterday when we were playing like, hey, you don't have a lot of memory left. And I was like, well, that's probably fine. And then today, blue screen, so. But, you know, we're up in the mountains now in our Valheim save, so that's pretty cool. Right? It's pretty, uh, pretty goddamn cool, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. <laughs> nice. But I removed like, I don't know, seven gigabytes or something. It's not a big hard drive. It's like a hundred gigabytes. So um, I am ready. seven I is um, is like what you, what I could remove in in five minutes. Seventy percent right here. Very well. Ah, forty. I nice. will do this. Wind of Shaman, okay. I will. Let's see what we can do. Always move like this. Ambush dance. Ambush dance. Been saving the game. As I said to myself, we'll get updates. I'll have to redo everything. The game has not gotten a lot of updates. It's gotten a bit of updates since I played it first time with like singular and edgy. It's got a lot of updates since then. Will. Like now we're in the mountains and it's a completely different uh, type of thing. Back when we did mountains, there used to be like wolves and small dragons. That's it. There's rock golems everywhere. Now there's like cultist werewolves, big dungeons. Game, uh, Valheim. That's cool. Wait a bit more. Yeah, true. It is supposed to release this year. I say I'm gonna go exactly the same way and this time I'm gonna um, think about the bridges ready for war for held and hammer ready for war by all wrecks rough see to it Let's go! Hellstorm rocket battery! That's an order! The other one had like the garrison and an army. That was pretty rough. Four, four, four Empire dudes. Under 
Good. Do you not having a PC? Oh yeah. What happened to your PC? Or did nothing happen and you just didn't like get one or Oh, baby divers. Good tune? Pretty well. That's the old ones. I actually have an old might PC case. And a big plus ultra thing uh, that is magnetic that I have my um, my um, headphones on. Oh yeah, it starts over. Punch? I don't think there is a punch on the on the case. It just says plus ultra. Smash. I like that it is just like random cities as well. Why did I press this? Absolutely no reason to press this. Absolutely no reason at all. None. A shame the great swords died. You're gonna have ward save. Forty percent decrease. It's still gonna be overkill when a missile hits you. Overkill on damage that is. Yes, 
Let's run in, create some havoc. No lingering! Quickly! Yes, sir! Fourth brands! Feel my heart. For France, yeah, they're um, France has the most military victories in uh, in world history, you know. So all the people are just like for France, like for Hercules, basically. Good. Send this out. Take a position. Body Emperor. Get them. In the name of the twin tailed comet. Prepare for combat. For Helden. Prepare for combat. Wombat combat. Probably won't be as uh, Pyrrhic as last time. Now that we think about the Goddamn Bridges. Sure, that'll be fine. Maybe just tell these dudes to stop firing at all. It's the last volley. Uh, well, that's a net positive, I'd say. On the other hand, probably wasn't.
These are very, very squishy. Good lord, amounts of squishing. I think if our mantle kills would be too much, it would make battle stalemates. If our mantle kills would be incredibly cool. Man, the traps you could set. Yes, my lord. Super cool. Um, as long as we drop ambushes inside that you yourself do a nauseous stance. The the like one of my favorite battle tactics uh, in um, in the lore. Or one that they did in um, in a city that was overrun by chaos. It was already basically lost, right? So they were just doing, you know, guerrilla warfare essentially in their own city. Um, tons of fog and stuff like that already, and it was essentially a lost city. So. They would like close that, like, they would just um, have somebody run over the streets, across streets. And lure out a bunch of dudes, and then they would just run into some alley and try to take cover. Then the ones who were, you know, chasing them would just be out on the streets. Everybody would be on the roofs, just, uh, you know, watch a crossbows, peek out, shoot everything they could. And then a bunch of Reichsguard would just trample everything along the streets murdering stuff well as they could it shouldn't be there but I thought I could um, all the do this and win it I had beef with Cathay no no they have trades with them even like in the old lore before uh, War M3 they had uh, they had trade with them It's just pretty isolationist anyway, but they, they definitely had trades and caravans and trade quarters and things like this. Hey, rebels, yeah. We're basically helping Zhao kill off rebels. It's this patch, these dudes are... Um, are rebels. We still retain our harmony. With the rebels defeated, Zhao Ming sends his thanks for your assistance in dealing with them in his absence. We now formally request a safe return Cathay's lands to rightful owners. Um, from all force and heroes to the Empire at full health. Wow, so you can just return to our lands. Mutual benefits. Keep sent for alliances with Cathay. In Cathay. Um, probably just because it's a new type of campaign. That's kind of fun. I think that's it. Negotiates. I don't want to go back for 25,000. I want to have both or something. I have a homecoming as well. Blazer plus one for newly captured settlements. Immune to diplomatic penalties for trespassing. Immune to regionless attrition, upkeep minus 100 for armies, campaign range plus 30. Okay, yeah, I understand how this one gets to, uh, how you get, like, tier 5, um, straight away. Characters so far away, yeah. When you go back, what do you guys think? What do you guys vote for? Go back, stay in Cathay.
type one in chat if you want us to uh, stay. Press two. You go back. One to stay, two to go back. Two will involve massive amounts of cheese. Massive. Well, we have um, one to stay, two to go back. Uh, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten to stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. Go back. Ooh, very close. Very close. Solent? I guess so, yeah. Two, even more to go back. One of you. Doesn't really matter if we miss uh, those things. On the pulse. Fine, we'll do a goddamn pole. The pole dance is so close. There we go. Three minutes of um, fantastic, fantastic polling. Do, 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 do. Get out like this. You go you guys can are now voting you're getting go home to cheese stay in cafe oh well actually a lot of people are wanting to go home to cheese here if i'm altarf something like that the cheese banish democracy what does managed even mean And pie more votes? No. I didn't have it for this time. For this time around. 20 now to go home. 11 to stay in Cathay. Votes! If you're here, participate in democracy. It is fun. It is uh, the most fun time you can have. If anyone ever thought that it wasn't fun time, you're mistaken. It is. You should. It is. And you should. That's how it is. <laughs> Nicely played. Don Pendango, dude, thanks so much for that raid. I appreciate this. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing, huh? What are you doing? If you guys haven't been here before, I'm Nerd Fed. I play a lot of Total War, play a lot of like strategy games, uh, a little bit of everything. And um, I don't know, farm memes, I guess. How was. Dawn stream. Hello, how are you, Dawn? It's good to see ya. Oh yeah, that's not how I do it. I do it like this. After I do it. Doing good. Which campaign were you doing? Spoiled balance. So we're right now talking about if we're gonna go back to uh to the empire with the gelt 
And cheese things for staying in Cathay and have fun checking out the drawer. Oh, dude, it's good, right? It's pretty fun. It's uh, definitely like pretty strong, but it's pretty fun. What do you guys, uh, what, uh, which were you playing as? Who were you playing as and uh, how do you like it? I played Thorgrim the other day. It's good times. Go home and cheese is what we're doing. Goodbye, Zhao. Wait, I don't. S I am ready. Are you? I don't own anything now. You iron drake? Yeah, dude. They are the grudge settler iron drakes are, are pretty goddamn nutty. So I don't own anything now. Wow. He took his. Straight Sylvania. Looks like it. So I need to do this in like as fast as possible because otherwise we can't guess the cheese going. It's either that or we like kill Carl, which I am not really like a fan of. Dang. I will hear your petition. What do you do now then? Let us begin. Gotta head off. Gone. Stay out of buddy. And thank you for that raid. I appreciate it. Glad you enjoyed the dwarves. And if you guys haven't checked out Dawn, you should. It's a cool dude. Plays uh, basically the same stuff that we do as well. It's really good at us. So go check him out. I lurk in his channel whenever I can, which isn't often, but when I do, I very much enjoy it. He'll fest this. And he's sort of taking that as well. I am the Supreme Patriarch. It's vampire times, I guess. Dang. Or Marienburg. I might just uh, set up shop in Marienburg, honestly. Over the Empire. Yeah, I could take over the Empire. Ice, Carl. I wasn't really wanting to fight Carl, if I'm honest. Such as yours would make for an interesting gilded statue. I have a spell for that, you know. Nope. Guess our course of action was decided for us. Turn Tampa, I didn't. Florica, all right. So if I just guess. Um... Old walls. Well, I don't have a city at all right now, so. You come before He's me also angry because we're fools. trespassing. Refusing union weakens us all. The Empire. But people are actually fighting By Carl. Sigma. What's that, old bass? Very well, I'll move. I'll ignore that. Yes, that will do. No. Well. Under thirty armor could be nice, maybe. When Vlad now attacks me.
Vlad, Vlad was very close, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Heroic. And that or I actually have to kill that. That'd be cool though. Heroic is pretty cool though. As well. Oh man, it's so tempting to just order soul this one. Jesus Christ. That's kind of what I... I just feel like doing. Because he is pretty... Um... Gonna wreck. We're all gonna wreck Abyss. It's gonna be cool though. We'll just uh, fight this for the sake of this. Yeah, I'm also thinking like, what the hell am I even stopping Vlad and Isabella with? Like my archers? I don't lose anything if I do this either. I'm sorry. Just explodes. It is time. The archers will aren't that grace is fighting him. So we'll, we'll take the coward's way out. You summon me. Yes. Sparring partner. Feel the shame, Fred is feeling. Hmm. When people get early access to the DLC units. Um, when people can stream it on Tuesday, 3 p.m. EST. And uh, on Wednesday, we will be streaming Tamar Chan. Tamar Khan. No peace. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not gonna. Like the smaller army then. That just feels insulting to everyone. Ready. We can just do this. Get that. So we do not guess electoral. We guess Imperial Authority enabled. After an extended period away from the homeland, you have returned. Whatever the current state of the Empire, it is now your duty, alongside with others, to remain here to protect our lands. Learn more about Imperial Authority here. Okay, I'm just gonna figure it out as we go along. The nation calls. Mercy replenishment, growth minus. Okay. Then we just guess more merc is more mercs as well. Growth, control, income. True, but I still need to unlock the these dudes though. Well, these. So I suppose. Do not waste my potential. Send up. Nice pizza. Me on the TV. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna stop order solving now. That was the last order solve for this. I'm sorry. I was just. I got this point in myself, honestly. Sparring, yeah, it's cool. Something at least. Okay. Root bot, I think we might be trying to yes. take. Maybe kill off Scrag as well. Greetings, country. Pretty unhappy with us I because we trespassed as well. No, he's not unhappy because we trespassed at the very least. All right, fire and let's not allow pleasantries. I suppose sorcery through me. We built up so many places for him. It is time. Hmm. 
that again with this one turn spawn timer. Yeah, I think it's like two turns. But yeah, he'll be back very, very soon again. Like he always is. Or we were drop 30th. Glad I'm Malkia. I got everyone now. Well, except for, you know, the things. Uh, let's get rid of one of these dudes. Let's guess the goddamn this thing. And then let's get rid of this thing as well. And also guess the suits and gar mortars. Let us begin. Dang, so much stuff I can't reach. Just get Plensburg then. Murder these dudes as well. I have 10 things. Do I want to go to war with ogres as well? Do I though? Oh, two parter. Now. I think I do. Okay, I guess we have to fight every battle now because I actually said we were, we were gonna fight every battle. Last Empire campaign or that was bugs and unlimited regen. It was hell. Oh yeah, that wasn't actually um unlimited. It was just ten times as high it was supposed to be. Ready to serve. So you know. Technically you could kill him. A little bit of uh, elbow grease and um, I don't know. Mortar. Rasmantas. Our weapons are yours. Standing by. Look at these new steam tanks, though. They are so pretty. Look, there's a little dude looking out there. He's like, are you getting out there? I'm staying inside here. In here, it's safe. I'm gonna tell him who to shoot. Into the darkness I go, where it's cool and safe. Ooh, look at this. I was like that as well. I would also do parade tricks all the time. <laughs> like, look, boys. You spin it all the time. Everyone be like, yeah. He still has a sword. Drive me closer. Circus dudes who would just get shot in the gust with a cannon. Suits and guns are, are so good when you're fighting vampires. Then you can just shoot right into your uh, main line, well, into your uh, front line. Oh, 
Bass, pretty good name also. You see units in his reinforcements? That's a very good question. I haven't been able to play him with the DLC enabled. Have the same face with the Hawkeyes. Same DLCs. True. I am the Supreme Patriarch. have a couple of turns now left tempered aura here as well next turn we can fly um, how many turns do we have left for the um, so. the thing seven get word bot up and running really really heftily maybe We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Da 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 da. Wow. Everyone will see what happens. Maybe, maybe, maybe. In town with bark bark noises. Trickster in Flansburg. Oh. What? Gotring and Felix. If you just manage the Nightmare and Gehemmich Nacht. Alright. That's a pretty rough one, though. Okay, I can just kill them off in, um, in their place. Because they are, um, like, the, the vampire place is, is pretty, um, be easy to murder. I refuse. But then again, it would be. There's a lot of people I want to fight right now and murder. We'll see. I think vampires, uh, like the next DLC will have the 100th um, LL, right? So you probably want, um, want to have some stuff for this, I'm guessing. So either we murder him and kill off everyone outside um, and just use a bunch of cool stuff. Enemy state, yeah, I could do that as well. Kill off um, vampires, but it's just melee attack leadership, so it's, it's cool, I guess, but... It was a cost me tons of money. But yeah, we can do that, I guess. For vampires. Being Cathay. Everyone voted to uh, to go home. Hmm. 
Hmm. Do we fight this outside or inside? It's really easy inside, though. The nation I'm gonna do it safe. It's safe. Very safe. Okay. First, I'm gonna go to the bathroom before we do this one. Vote him homeless. Yeah, you actually did vote me homeless. He shits. Alright. Uh, BRB. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom really quickly before we do this one and then we'll kill them all. BRB.
Okay. It's all right. This was bad because I want to go from here because here you're pretty safe. But since 3,000 goddamn ghouls are coming in from the back here, it's obviously putting a little bit of a stopper on my plans. But only a tiny slight piss. This is going to be very interesting. The ground quakes. Moving now. Yeah, no flyers. So we can just uh, harass them with these things. Things even harass them. Oh, wow. What the hell? Oh, yeah, we don't have the flyer, yes. Thought we had the flyer. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna go in here. With it now, let's make Yell tired. Slightly. Actually, stop shooting because you're wasting too much ammo on absolutely nothing. Somebody new. Well, this didn't work out exactly as planned. I'll miss. Are working out anyway. I am supreme. We are Sigma's heirs. In the name of the Twin Tail Summit. Fault is our guilt. Did you just heal them? Spearman! By Ulrich's rock! 
guys can just start going over there. This is going to like really weird. Is he sad now? Is he gonna die? No, he's not sad, yes. We are Sigma's ass. Good enough, anyway. Good. Let's move with this dude as well. Make sure Yelth comes back. Because without him, a lot of things just fall apart, which we don't want to. Sigma, show us. Wait, can you guys just shoot that thing? Shoot him right there? No, no, Yelth. Understand things got scary for a bit. You're coming back. You killed a lot of dudes. That's all that matters. Okay, you guys cannot actually shoot them over there. Gonna stop doing this. So you can push this dude off, maybe. I don't think we can. It would be cool if we could. From there. We are Sigma's ass. It's gonna take a little while. For We're gonna need something to deal with all that saw all the psalms as well, apparently coming us. I thought I could clump them more. Um, obviously, it's going to be a little bit of a harder thing than I had anticipated. All right, but that's fine. I don't, I don't mind at all. That's just good. Yes, Kenobi, we are Sigmar's ass. Open the case. Yeah, hopefully. We are ready. We obey. Seems that they are uh, doing wonky Sigma stuff right now. It's from over here as well that it's getting rough. We're gonna guess another thousand dudes coming from the back as well. We do have some power here, though. I'm not getting stacked either. Spark, I don't. Once. Yeah. I saw. It's not good. Archers in the end, so they're not going to do much, but. And could we do more at least? Fire 
They're doing something, it's fine. Yes, General. Go. Now we're getting stacks. Take the walls. Yes, General. Fire at will. Yolo it a little bit. This was a bad YOLO. Yeah, now they're going the other way. That's cool. Good. Stop! I speak, you act. Good. More of them as well. I mean, like at least we have the tank, right? That dude is uh, is definitely doing uh, giving us problems, though. Try to dive down there, try to kill that thing. Bang. Mortar. Yeah, mortars are like the best ones. Who's pole incoming? I think we're gonna lose. How? Nothing else now, well, see if it was just that. Yeah, it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. The Empire endures. Hell stone. Ulrich's wrath on them. Bow before me. A lot, lot of really cool stuff for us. This one burns everyone, though. Thing even firing at it. I think it's Detachment too close now. By Ulrich's wrath, take the ground, smash them aside. I am master of 
problem right now is that this dude is healing so goddamn much. He's getting into uh, his regen point, though, I'm fairly sure. I like that it says 10.8 health per second. Just kill, kill him. We're gonna be in a lot better spot here. Because he shouldn't be able to take on all these spearmen. Couldn't be the keyword, I guess. For Helden Hammer! Missiles ready, my crack! Mortar! Crank that machine! Ready for war! Moving now! They will never move again. Fire! The Empire endures. We serve the Emperor. Sigma demands blood. The Empire endures. Good. They're gathering up more and more. That is actually what we want. Are you fine? Thank you. What's happening there? Alone. It's already dying. I'm not gonna waste precious winds on this. This dude though is finally got on this region wall or region limits. Sigma guides us. Close. Good, finally getting something there. Very near, Lord gets Steam Tank Mouse. Sounds busted, but it's uh, artillery. Arcane Phoenix? No, they weren't. Um, Steam Tank's always been like a mobile artillery platform that is heavily armored and can do terror. But it wasn't much more than this. Now they don't have that much left. I just need to fight this goddamn Spugoi. God, I hate this.
ready to serve. War! To battle! Good. Spearman. What do you bid? Take position. Sigma preserver. Good times. Attack. Close. Close. Starting to. Uh, Think that, yeah. Spearman, on my command. Lord of Metal. We are Sigma's heirs. Standing by. Could try to do a magical attack here on this dude as well. But he has regen and hunger, so that's like really. Like, that is uh, some crazy amounts of um, regen on that dude. There we go, good chunk. There we go, finally this dude is uh, going I'm down. Holy shit, that took a long time. Quick march. Yes, sir, quickly. Cool kings are like the best level one lord you can have for those. Yes, I managed to push him off. Is he dead? I didn't die from that. Sometimes they just die from the fall, which is uh, hilarious. Ready for war. They was not that thing. Away. Quick march! For the war hammer! No! Mortar! Pushing my lord Atman off the wall instead of killing them. It's pretty nice. Altdorf tier fire. No, I didn't want to fight Altdorf. Ready to fire. So I'm trying to take something else, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Everybody voted yours. for me to be homeless. Yeah, pretty close. So I wanted it to be maximum effort way. Hey, doing Leslie. Ready for war. Listen up. What? What do you do, bid? Do, 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 do. Don't worry, yeah, it is it's a Ordinance good steam tank. Ready. Like it's made for justice. Justice! The Empire endures! There we go. Take position! 
The hardest part was the 3,000 vampires coming in from the back. That definitely made us a little bit rougher than the rest of the stuff. No armor. The Strigoi has 22 armor. <laughs> so it's not like they have like a ton. They, it's, the problem with them is that they have hunger and uh, regen. So killing them early on is really hard <laughs> unless you like focus fire them, which we couldn't do there. See, not even close. Easy peasy. You have 7,000 vampires. And you kill them one at a time and eventually no more. Suits and guns also did really, really, really well. Our new home, yeah. So you're supposed to, like, abandon these and get them back every turn. Is that is? Seven thousand vampires. Nice. Cash replenishment rate is the I think I want. Human rank plus two. Also pretty nice, but let's take new formulation start first. Upgrade same turn when you do. Oh, alright. Let us begin. That makes sense. We'll just keep this place. Get barrels of wine. I am ready. Are you? If only we had a turn one healing pause. If only. I am the supreme patriarch. Thirty five AP noise. We're doing this now. Let's see. Took a little while there since um, we landed there and then we had to fight Vlad because he went to war with us. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Alright, I'm back here like Gels. Well, probably not. AI uh, factions never have those cool things. What, and then I abandon this again straight away? By the comet. And yeah. Let us begin. Okay. Makes sense. Army now call it now not the army. It's your they just get tired for one turn. 20% ammunition for artillery will help us a loss. A loss. Okay, this place I kind of don't want to deal with. I kind of want to give it away to somebody, but I don't really Greetings. All you know how or why. Me, so I advise caution with your next words. So this place will just be, I don't know, dead. Ready. Something. Yeah. 
by Bannon. Because for 10 turns, you get a, a new population surplus every time you colonize something new. So, since a lot of these places are caps, you just, you know, you can only, like for this place, you can only have three population surplus. But if you abandon them, you can just keep on getting population surplus for a thousand gold. Uh, I don't want to fight him right now, so we'll actually accept and give him some money. Nemesis Crown. Or by infamous David Runes with Alaric the Mad. Nemesis Crown corrupts all it touches, isolating every dark thought. Twists the mind of its wear, leaving them hauled out by madness. Now a horde of goblins has uncovered this, claiming its power for their own. Whatever their intent, death and anarchy is sure to follow. Defeat Nemesis Crown Bear at the location revealed. Alright. Is that a hard fight, I wonder? Ancient powerful artifact known as Nemesis Crown whispers to you from somewhere in the Empire. Comes in great power. Okay. Lies near a famous landmark in the Empire. Okay. The nation calls. I am the supreme patriarch. Tier three. Okay. Ban it again. You summon. So, me. it goes on. Vertbad, obviously not as cool as many other places to have, but it's fine. Since I was homeless. I am ready. What the hell do I do with this since I can't give it to him? Greetings, countrymen. I welcome your offer. Hmm. All right, it's fine. Geest. Oh, shit, I can just do that. Fantastic. These dudes, um... Man, that was grace. I did not think that would ever be able to happen. Let us fall I'm happy. I got a warrior priest as well. What Amazing. Noble. You can have some of my sugar smacks. What is a sugar smack? Waste my potential. Yep. This is uh, so silly. So incredibly silly. Let us begin. You summon me. Thousands every time you do this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Time. Now. The A little bit boring probably to watch, but still pretty funny, so you know, take some and you lose some. <laughs> What's the cheese? Uh, the cheese is that when you start in Cathay, at a certain point you get to uh, the dilemma if you want to stay, be bros with Xiao Ming, or if you want to go home and be homeless. But when you go home and be homeless, you get... Uh, keep in the forts. Yeah, but he had like nine settlements and... Um, Um, I, I didn't want to kill France because it felt it feels wrong to do this. But anyway, you get this one. Population surplus plus one for newly captured settlements. That's the one that's really important. Um, so for three turns, you don't get any upkeep. Um, and... Every time you capture something new, you get one uh, population surplus. So what you do is just abandon them, get one population surplus, and you just keep on going like that. So 38 turns, you just get one new next turn. So on and so forth. Yes. Yeah, this one will last for three turns. So we probably get this one to at least tier, you know, five, four at least. Hopefully. I also transmute some money, but I kind of want... Ooh, minus 20% wins some magic cost. What's that then? Three for every uh, searing thing? 
this one. Mm, not very good, though. Rope Supreme Patriarch. Well, this gives Battle Wizards Kruma rank. We can just transmute to get three and a half thousand as well. This is pretty cheap. I want this one, though, so you always have uh, Gehenna's Golden Globe, which is a pretty shit spell, but the unless Empire. they change this. I am the Supreme Patriarch. if he teleports home. Yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, one man's cheese is another man's regular gameplay. That's just how uh, how it is, right? Needling? Yeah. Yes, they did. You just win, yeah. I should just do that, actually. I go where the wind shall. Do not waste my potential. Good time for like two more, and then we're gonna have to like do it the real way. Anything else I actually want here? I don't think so. Grenade launcher, pretty goddamn cool though. Who calls? It's not what? Daka, but it is Kabooms. That's also cool. <laughs> hey, can you uh, give me that back? I hold Galmaraz. You may bow. Well, I'm just gonna wait until I can, I don't know, confederate you, I guess. That's fine. No. You summon me. Two more turns. It's fine with that for two more turns, yeah. Do it with two. Yeah, if I would have done it twice. But hey, man, I, uh, I just wanted to try this out. Move. Yeah, could have done that as well. Follow me. Then it also costs a ton more to do this. Uh, for one more turn. I guess we can do this. Stonk. Arch Lecter. Let us begin. Then I should have taken this, but it's fine. Uh, I guess the moot. Oh, wow. Empire's already doing everything. Very nice. I wonder how hard the Nemesis Crown thing is. We'll have to find out, I guess. Thirty-two k so yes but still okay last turn now we can actually move and do stuff and die try yeah i guess that's what we're doing it is an early fight though so i guess they haven't made it like super duper hard maybe with all the generic lords i don't know is there didn't they uh, change some stuff with them i have to check it out Go back home, yeah. The nation calls. Pick up the pace. Your word is my command. That's it's then. Well, we did manage to get a tier four, like I said, so it's not super bad. Not wasted time, I guess. Get Daka. Check them out then. I haven't checked them out. Uh, most tracker then. Warrior of Sigma. Imperial training, melee attack, melee defense plus seven, and bone versus infantry plus twenty. That's very nice. Uh, missile block chance fifteen percent. 
So it goes from 55 to 70 then. That's nice. Wound recovery time, war hero. Uh, that one. He still gets the griffin like you always had. Drill instructor as well. Oh, we can get one or, or the other. We lost reduction unit experience gain plus 20. And pay more range plus 8. Speed for all cavalry units. Charge bonus cavalry units. Statesman, replenishment, local recruitment, recruitment cost, leader of men, upkeep minus for all army. Pretty good. Sixty-two, fifty-two. Are they really that much stronger? Definitely not with uh, Carl's items, but maybe without anything else. What does the emperor bid? Skalmaras is still like pretty uh, pretty hefty. Yes, to the provinces. Fine skills, yeah, but weapon strength plus fifteen is pretty good though. Fifteen percent hit points also really strong. I mean, the silver seal just alone gives twenty wards a rice. Yes, my lord. Where did I get him in the last bit? I should have just got them both. Alright, it's fine. We've done what we did. That is life. As you say, sir. Everything here is dead. It seems like we just came in here, killed like five of Vlad's armies, and then he just can't compete anymore. That's cool. Griffin, they will hurt. Yeah, they will. So, yeah. Silver Sea is 20%. You have 75 armor piercing and sundering on Galmaras. You stand before That's where we yeah, probably are. Patriarch, like an oh. I haven't even seen what battle it is about. The, um, yes. These dudes. What can we guess here otherwise? We can guess these grenadiers, which I kind of want. Before we go anywhere. By the comet. Do not waste my potential. I'm ambushing? The mad howlers. Alright. Nice. Funny crown, very funny crown. I haven't seen it at all. Probably. Probably he did. Funny crown of Cain, yeah. Crown of Cain. Yes, I'm sure this will be really good. Thy Sigmar's will at your service. Mortar! We don't want to stand right here, actually. Maybe this would be way better. Um. Yeah, it would be easier to protect myself as well and shoot. For the Empire! 
pretty good. I am supreme. Yes. It's only thinking about the rock lobbers. That my garrison. Sigma calls. No lingering. Moving. Feel my Formation march. Is it always the Mad Howlers or is somebody out or is it just completely random who actually gets it first? Jealous and we're most powerful. Quirch issues. First is always mad, how less? Alright. about LSF guild campaigns. I regret not staying in Cathay. But it's still very different. The Timeless, Black and Power, the Nemesis Crown, now rests in your hand, awaiting a choice that may impact the course of destiny and the fate of the entire world. You could seal the crown away, so that its evil may never threaten the world again. But of course, such power is always begging to be exercised. Seal its crown. Ten turns for stuff. Fledgling uh, crown, missile strength, missile weapon strength. My relations, though, with everyone. Get this one as well. Yeah, we have to try it, right? The bearer of the Nemesis Crown has succumbed to the wounds of battle, and now the Ancient Archive rests upon a new brow. As one malevolent power lies defeated, another far more dangerous one, Bouncer Gelt of the Golden Order, rises to take its place. Come here. Do not waste my potential. So you summon me. <laughs> Let me think about it. No, I did murder him. Yes, my lord. You can also do this as well. Upkeep. Plus 10. Oh yeah, it costs more to actually own this. That's nice. Corruption plus 1 anyway. 
Um, damage always 20 to 40. It's pretty god and strong 20 to 40. Obviously, like melee factions will be way better. Missile, yeah, just like, well, better than Sword of Cain, then, I guess. Probably do this one. I've forgotten how um, how and if this one is even hard. Now both, sort of Kane and the Nemesis Crown. Maybe. I'm not sure. I haven't seen that one. thinks he can take what is rightfully mine, then he is very much mistaken. I will be Supreme Patriarch. I will wield the Staff of Volans. The wind of Shaman will rise and blast any who get in my way. Now is the time for the Gold Order, and I will brook no interference. Right, how you any been? who get in my way will see their armor run into the order for me to be homeless instead and go back. melt and their bones turn to gold. Now, men, fight. Bring me victory. The Emperor needs me, not some pathetic pyromancer or insipid white wizard. For the good of the Empire... I will this coming Misa style. Yeah. He, um... Will not stop me. A lot of the time he just goes and borrows a Pegasus from, uh, from the Sioux. From the Imperial Sioux. So it's usually not even, like, you know, his personalized one. He doesn't care that much. Troops by Ulrich's wrath. Spearmen! We Grounds quakes. Spearmen! Mortar! We are Sigma's heirs! Outriders! Ready for war! What? Yes! Take position! I am master of Shavon. Can I click this on stuff? I can. To battle! Full and star! Ulrich's wrath on them! At speed! Armor melts! Okay, so it takes a pretty long time though to do anything, but Moving faster. you know. Ready for war. Man, seeing this makes me really want to play the Battlelord mod for um, Warhammer. Oh yeah, they had that in the um, in the blog, right? Or let's play. Still, it was the homeless topic. Are you mad at chats? Nah, not that much, actually. I would have probably rather stayed in, in, in Cathay and just like chillaxed and had a good campaign there. Um. Boss, uh, no. 
that you guys tricked me um, malignantly uh, is also, you know, fun. Boss. Let's go, Rice. The mod is so goddamn good. Like magic does so much for that uh, for that game. It's nice though, because you have Supreme Daka faction, Elsef later on, and you have Supreme Kaboom faction, Gelt. We'll see, maybe Elsef will be better Kaboom. Standing from the front, that's nice. See, Kaboom, nice. Direction missile block, yeah. 100% from the front missile block. That's really nice. 100% missile block. It's not even like missile resistance. It's literally block. Which is way, way better. Holy shit, that's better. By my will alone. Oh, nah, but he's squishy. France will be Mad King France instead. That'll be cool. Does he, have to, does he have to be in melee for this? Yeah, in melee. Don't move from that one this time around. Just stick around here. The curse brought Cellsource attack from the woods! Oh no! Can I even drain so much ammo from your army? Yeah, probably has. I like the new icons, they're pretty cool. Fire back, what the hell? Master Yoda was like constantly all firepower on the nearest enemy ship. Still not take anything else. Oops. Save your banished settlements. Wrath. For Heldenhammer! 
Moving faster! They'll never move again. Now! I sit fast with for the ring of steel! Okay, that was pretty good. That's not good. Moving out, sir. Hell stop. The Empire United Empire. It's all the better. Crossbows ready, General. Send us out. What? Okay. Take the ground. Formation. Take the ground. I am master of shuffle. I am supreme. Ready ammunition to battle for the emperor. Send us out. Take aim. Ready to smite. We are Sigma's heirs. Yep, this is going pretty well. Since they have so many dudes that they are um, that are, are hurt now, he can just pick up a ton of ton of kills. Grenade Outriders, um, when they're the Bordermen, they have so much extra armor piercing that the other dudes do not have. run stay here in this uh, horrid death vortex oh don't oh you gotta leave the death vortex wow cowards On this, they just don't know it. Yes, that was a good uh, trial for the for the crown. Check it out. Gonna play it more carefully. But it's, I mean, like I always want to check out the crown. That's like li literally, it's quite literally. Our plants going to be smashed really hard, though. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're gonna. Wiped out from the face of the planet even faster than you uh, than before. Empire's like, look, the pinnacle of game developments. This is as far as the series has gone to the College of Magical Gunpowder, Magic Guns. That will obliterate anything from the face of the planets. And then Vampire is like uh, sitting there like, Our last DLC was 2016! You know, eight years ago. They're like, We have a... You have a land ship, but we have a floating boat thing. Drag my horses. It's painful to be around. Also other carts that are like small boats. But they're not good. Let me think about it. No! You summon me. Watch out or I'll bite ya! 
all that vampires. Better infantry, better cavalry. Better infantry, it is. Four vampires. 2016 game. Yeah, that's actually um, very much creative assembly. That's how they've always uh, operated, basically. How much is Attila? We want to check that out for me. No. The mad howlers just got obliterated as well. Nice. Yes. Good landmarks though. Black Rose units. Black Rose is only for isn't that just the DLC units or was? soon. Yeah, it actually is 10 year anniversary. Well, like in two years, it's 10 years because it got released in 2016. What? So it's going to be um, a little of this. Glory to left. No a little this. Well, in record time. Probably didn't work. Probably. We've got a problem with this. You're one of those heretics. It lasts 45 years. Yeah. Um, I'm fairly sure that's because um, CA is owned by a, a Japanese company at this point. And I don't know if you guys have ever checked out like Nintendo products, but either you can buy a Nintendo game for $60 when, it, when it's released, or you wait 10 years and then it's $80. That's just how it is. Want to increase that much compared to average inflation? Yeah, they're also doing record profits as well, so it's like... What side should we be on here? It is time. That will work. Who calls? To the provinces. And never be on the side. So wind of Shamon, I will of corporations. So it's always been like that thing where people just wouldn't buy that many video games if they were like a hundred bucks, right? Like the hobby is literally getting on in affordable for people. For inflation treatments, get less game for the same price. DLC is extra. Hundred bucks now. Some of them are. Some of them are endless bucks as well. Even though they're free. Very well, I will do this. For forty-three euro, yeah. You should check out Train Simulator. It's like... By the I think it's like 8,000 euros or something. Train Simulator 3 has 
1,700 euros in DLCs. Oh, relative. Just willing to pay. Yep. Sigma call. Sometimes it's above what people want to pay. And then the game flops because nobody buys this. Take aim. And then the poor sales make the make it so that the studio has to quit because somebody else said no. People pay seventy dollars. And then two hundred people are out of job. So sometimes it's what people want to pay, at the very least. We are Sigma's heirs for the Empire. I mean, it's a good deal, yeah. Well, the milk. Yeah, I mean, it is literally, uh, you know, milking, though. So it's it's one of those things, right? But any business plan will always see like where the pain threshold for people to pay for stuff will go. And I think we're still like in that, like we're always in that you know, period where we're try where they're trying to find out where the pain threshold for people are. I am supreme. Nice. Last two DLCs for this one, 25 bucks. Now. Nine bucks or twenty-three for all of them. The last game. Let's raise stock time. Make five percent more profits. Next game. It's full proof. Full proof. Thank you for this. that follow. Thank you everybody for the follows. Whoopin, Cecina, that's bonus. Crazy Rabbits, Nikod, Linky, Nessus, Sin Legacy. We are Sigma's heirs! Edge of hair, so green. It's a worship Nurgle. It's because the I have a green screen in the back. Um, so the computer software that has to determine where my real hair is and where the green screen um, starts is often confused. Because my world is in chaos. So you're saying... Because I fight chaos, keeping um, the standard of non-chaos up. It is inflation, though. It's just a different kind of inflation than what it was in the 80s. Important campaigns can ruin the damage troop unlock progression. We're glad a lot of Empire units will be available earlier now. Yeah, they actually are. Which is nice. Same with Dwarves as well. They also get available earlier. Like, all the heroes and stuff like that are, like, tier 2 now. Which is cool.
thing I kind of dislike is um, still this. I don't dislike it as per se, but man, I would like that um, high elves didn't have to build certain buildings to unlock things because I for like it takes like turn fifty before I get tier two tech most time. Your savior is here. No, it's only for 10 turns you have the surplus thing. Oh, so you have to like keep on winning as well. That's nice. Yes, my lord. We'd also go over here, but we could also take on Sylvania. Right tier 5 units. Yeah, a lot of people do. Unless you're dwarves, because then there are no tier 5 units. Unless you get the DLC! This Nemesis crown make everyone else unhappy. Makes them jealous. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, Ooh, my turn with the crown! And you're like, no. Oh, I built the tall walls. Nice. Cool. Mass 15,000. Uh, okay. Talisman of Preservation. Ah, I could always take Research Race. Golem when Next Dwarf DLC, time. which is never. Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. I am ready. Are you? Follow me. And trespass on their stuff. It would be upset spaghetti. Do not waste my potential. Evil again. Um, who did? Did someone on Twitter do this? That's not real. Don't worry. Marilyn's is minus 20 with all factions, faction wide. So I'm fairly sure it's. Is it really? Are you sure about this? Because I think Greetings, it's. Um, heirs of Sigma. Ah, this dude doesn't care. Nice. Yet again, the remake. I don't think that's ever been, like, talked about that they're doing this. Unless Feral is doing it, and then, like, two weeks after before they're gonna release it, they're like, hey guys! Greetings, fellow heirs of Sigma. But it didn't do anything. There's nothing about Nemesis Crown here. Just tolerance against us. Oh yeah, with the Empire. Yeah, okay, the green text. Okay, 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 fine. Look. One day, I'm gonna learn how to read. Wait, this is a stadium. That's really cool. I've never seen this before. That's new. Huh. Neat. Blood Bowl, yeah, it looks like Blood Bowl Field. That's really cool. It's not new. I haven't seen an Arverheim before. Yes. 
Yes, that will do. On march. Raise Sigma. What else do we want here? The demigriffs. want these now we probably want these dudes but we can always build them in uh, in Flensburg later let's not use all of our money so we can get Ulrika faster Ready. for literally no reason such as yours would make for an interesting gilded statue. I have a spell for that, you know. Uh, no. We can tell literally every city in the first building. No! Never have. Always growth most of the time. Growth and garrison. We really don't need you anymore, buddy. The Empire. I am ready. Sorry. Are you? Yes. By Sigma's will, come in peace. Sigma's will. Men Probably dead soon, though. I don't really want to deal with you. Keeper of Wu Sheng. Who calls? Sigma's will. The more. These elves as well, just taking over everything. Ready. Lord Master. Nice. Do not waste my killing blow. Who calls? Ashens. And we'll also check out here because I, well, I really want this one. Right now we need uh, a little bit more. Let's do this though. I have enough. Transmute, which I forget to do all the time. One more turn and we'll probably have Ulrika as well. Just for that 15k. Always nice. Always nice. What do you guys think of the rework so far? Every single rework you've seen. Which one have you been your favorite so far? Time is gold. Let us not waste either in idle chatter. What about money? Growth is better than money. As long as you can afford it just a little bit, it's fine. Just war. Test me at your peril. Guess the Hidden Empire. A dream, but never happened. One day. Don't worry. Okay, yeah. Way better. I really like that we're getting three reworks. We never had like more than one rework at a time, I think. The 
which is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Use a little bit on the friendly fire cannons, like the supreme friendly fire. We are Sigma's heirs. Really excited for for next week when we can uh, stream the um, DLC stuff as well. So we get rework for the finish of the one team. Maybe. Maybe, honestly. I'm not really sure anymore. I would have said so before, but then they like went and had another round of layoffs. I actually don't know anymore. If this DLC goes really well, really well, they probably will, but otherwise, like who actually knows? Savage Edition is. Savage Edition adds like uh, Beastmen or something or uh, Norska. Yeah, like one extra DLC, I think. Crusader Gandalf. Let Crusader Gandalf. Feel my Well, well. Best humans gonna get a new rework though. Ooh. Plus, well, I had a pretty good time anyway. I do. I was thinking of you guys though. Everybody's <laughs> just like, what? Norska? Amber cans? I 
dark and ancient power the Nemesis Grand is stirring before you lie some momentous decision. A choice that may impact the course of destiny and the fate of the entire world. You can seal the crown away or discard the power it grants. Its malign presence may never affect you again. But why should you? If this power cannot be destroyed, why would you not be its bearers? Yeah, let's do it. Let us begin. Who calls? Do that so we have the 15k. Yes. It is good to see fellow sons of the Empire. Oh wow, day. you guys own the rest. Agreed. Very nice. Alright. Sorcery. Begone. Before your ex quite the success. Sigma's whip. Yes. My crown okay. right. The Empire? The Crown Empire is for everyone. Everyone gets slightly less uh, slightly different ones though. There you guess minus forty relations with everybody. Many relations with the Empire though. Campaign more range plus ten after winning a battle. Upkeep plus for your army. Hit points plus fifteen. Nemesis Crown, which is a good bombardment spell. Uh, weapon strength, missile strength for your army, and a little AoE thing. And then you can get even more. So this one will be really good for, you know, Beastmen, Chaos, things like that. That's 20 for Empire. Empire isn't uh, affected by the, the Malice, which is good, I suppose. That's how I like that. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real, real quick. Don't quite rest the ye two drugs. Uh, can we do um Yeah, we can do three minutes of ads well, so don't get any ads for an hour. BRB, don't quite rest the drugs.
Ulrika Magdava. Ulrika Magdava. My curse is strength track from the front. I mean, a little bit. Do not waste my potential. Destroy our cult, and then we're gonna do um, your scouts. Cult. What? Next objective. I don't know. Since we kill them, I'm, I guess we're gonna kill Festus. We have five turns to do five battles. That's will work. We kill this dude. Man, he's seen what the hell is this? Nine plays for them. The dwarves. Okay, we're we're fighting um these dudes. I like that there's a mechanic that you have to fight, not like the sort of cane where you just like kinda get it and then you sit on your ass. Yeah, this is a chaotic map, to say the very least. All right. What? Sigma. It hungers. You summon me. Uh, thank you, Hamler. It was. It's pretty good. Oh, they walk like 40 deci 400 decimeters. What, you live in a mansion? Pick up yeah, Franz actually do anything now. Dude, he's been crushing it around here. What was actually holding him back was like Gelt in the south. I cramping the vibe. Are you? Get essays from this place, yeah. You get essays from like the normal wizard place as well. You do five. Okay. As first, hello, could you give a quick rundown on the new empire we work? Well, for Gelt, he starts in Cathay actually. Uh, but then you get a little dilemma if you want to give everything back to uh, Xiaoming. Or if you want to uh, go back and you get a really cool buff, which means that you can get like Altor for another place up to tier four or five really quickly. Um, and he has a complete like little colleges of magic mechanic, so you can unlock just a bright wizard if you want to give them really cool uh, armors and stuff. Come on. It's a magic. It costs minus 20 for lower metal spells. That would be pretty nice, though. Just get more money constantly. Every three turns. Uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff. Like, um... Amulet of Retraction, which, you know, redirects projectiles towards... Um, so, yeah, all projectiles go back to them for 55 meters. That's pretty cool and strong for something that just isn't even an activable. Just get it all the time. So, uh, yeah, pretty strong stuff. Get some really good stuff. All up. Time. Won't you chime? I'll take it away from you. Ooh, 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 ooh.
We get shot at. Yeah. Be nice, AI Gelt. Give you settlements for free, AI bases. Yeah, probably he's just gonna stand there and take stuff from you. Very I doubt well. he'll he'll I ever go back. This. We gear slots? No, it doesn't, Norskin. What generation, Lord Masterman? He's second generation. There's a couple of second generation um, slan around. Now. So he's immensely powerful, but still eclipsed by Generation 1. Because Gen 1 was uh, insane. Insanity mode. Last Generation 1, yeah. He's the first uh, slam as well ever to be created by the old ones. So, um, he's the first one and the last one to remain. Remain. You know, he's still dead. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Time is gold. Let us not waste either in idle chatter. Then Gallant Law. I could grab a lot of many, a lot more than how many Gen One was. I don't know how many there was, but the rest of them are Let dead. Proc was the first one and arguably the most powerful I one will. as well. Ulrich's will. Ready. What do you think? I should just have like nineteen wizards, Grackle? Is that what you think? Where is the wizards? Call it some magic. Rank for them. That's this army. Oh, yeah. Okay, well. Cloak of Arna here is, is pretty meme worthy. It's not good, I don't think, but it's really meme. Imagine a wizard with a scraggly beard going down to like landing in a bunch of um, um, like T Rexes or something, and it's like removes their terror, and then instead it has terror. No spells. Yeah. But it's only for a little bit, right? Seven. Yeah, for two turns you get Cataclysm spells. Otherwise, I'm just trying to get this one for Gehenna's Golden Hounds. I am ready. Are you? So the rest of the Cataclysm spells are just like for two turns, which I'm like. Eh. A face such as yours would make for an interesting. Thousand gold? No. Thousand sixty three? Yes. <laughs> Look at me, I'm scary now. It's landing by a bunch of Tyrannosaurus Rex, and they're like, oh, I don't feel that scary anymore. <laughs> this goes the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This little dude, though. Very. Bunch of cults. Approach us, friend, and make So, who calls? Who calls? Mushy Mushy? It is I. Carl. Do not waste my potential. sickness. 
Usul. Mm. I am the supreme patriarch. The key master. You get more of these as well. More of these instead of this. The nation suits him. By the comet. The Empire. Me, I'm it's just so um such a meme thing. It's not even good. It's not that good, but it's it's pretty funny. Even though, like, Amber Wizards also get a griffin uh, that they can ride on, so they're still gonna have terror. But still. Oh, I really thought we were gonna, um, you know, siege this place since it's a major settlement. But, um, alright. Guess we're murdering them like this then. Trying to at least. Sigma calls. We are ready. It's worth trying to take over this place here. Should we just stand here, maybe? Easy PC. These dudes will take some time to get there anyway. Uh, we can try to take this. It's fun. Fight in melee. That would be nice. Bow before me. See to it for the Empire. Yes, sir. Quickly. The Empire endures for the twin tailed comet. Detachments move. Moving now. Faster, sir. See to it! Go! Do we have time? Well, probably not anymore. Now they might be moving. Or now. Okay. I didn't want them to to be forced to start moving. Taking position. No lingering. For Heldenhammer. Yes, anyway. Hammer them. Oof. Thought of any keyboard you want to guess? We are Sigma's heirs. I don't think I want to go like dive into Festus though. Thank yes. It uh, releases steam around us and does a little bit of damage. It gives them burnt as well, so fire damage does more. Also lowers leadership. A little bit of damage and leadership debuff.
I think he's hurting us. Rancid visitations. That's still a lot of damage for us. Good. War. Yes. Blood will save me. Trying to heal everybody, thankfully. The damage would have been uh, infinitely worse for us. Good amount of grenades, I'd say. Good times. If we get the Empire Captain a little bit. Well, that's probably Lord of the Rings or um, Be the Dream. the cheese so good it's cost released oil body loves oil probably yeah that is um uh taste enhancer we can answer glorious yeah okay alien bob nerd alert no i'm just kidding <laughs> i don't know more much about it i just um you know like the books Thank you, thank you for that tier 3. Above and beyond, Jesus Christ. They've been around for so long as well. 82 months. That's like 18 years. That's actually crazy. Yo, nerd, how is it going? Man, thanks for being you. That's life. How is leaf? Hope it is will. Of course, I know a third. Nothing. First, seems to have some cool stuff. Yeah. Do you think Gelt gets insulted whenever one of his units yells, We serve France? No, definitely not. It's a lot of essays. Nice. Got a home from vacation in London. Oh, nice. Did you see anything fun in London? Did you like London? 
No, uh, Geld is um, like insanely, insanely loyal, not to France maybe, but to the Empire, like incredibly. He, uh, he doesn't care that like Carl France is the Emperor. He wouldn't die to keep Carl France there if, you know, somebody else had... Um, Um, had uh, a good claim to us. He is loyal to the Empire without fault. Carl Franz is the legitimate Empire and uh, the legitimate Emperor, and therefore he will have all the help he will ever ever get from Gelt. Gelt would definitely die for the for the Empire, and Carl is the Emperor. I am a supreme patriarch. Me, the food experience is always the big thing on my trips. So I enjoyed a lot of food, afternoon teas. Yeah, uh, London has like great food and drinks. Like they have really good restaurants, really good. Um, I am ready. Like the bartenders I there are literally like the best time. I've um, like on any continent I've ever been on. Lebras keep Rudenwald. Yeah, and we'll go to all of these. Yeah. Gotten good. Um, just how good the drinks are, honestly. Like, I always like the only drink I, I don't really drink that much. The only drink I actually enjoy that I will, you know, maybe sometimes order that isn't just a beer is like a whiskey sour. And you'd be surprised if you have like a favorite drink. Uh, of anything how few people can actually make that unless you're like you know some form of cretin where it's like oh no I just like uh, whiskey coke that's all I ever have it's like yeah you can't really go make that one wrong but a whiskey sour if you enjoyed that one you'd know that's like man it's like not many people actually know what it is it's like if you really like um, espresso macchiato or something like, half the people don't even know what that is, <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, fish and chips. Yeah, coastal town, get really good fish. Big tea guy, went to hotel in Beaumont. The greatest afternoon tea in my life, went to great cakes, made some tea scones, nice. Some tea, these drinks there, nice. I have a spell for that, you know. I'm just gonna take that heroic, have them absolutely murdered. Poor bees, yeah, definitely. They're like, die! And they're like, oh no! <laughs> they're gone! <laughs> By the comet. Stupid bastards. I will not obey. By the comet. The course of people names goes through it. Hmm. What I don't like about London though is literally everything else, <laughs> except for the food and drinks.
I'm sorry, everybody who really likes London. I know this hurts you. Mission Thames. I mean, probably someone does. It's a very big city, but you shouldn't. <laughs> it's half her stuff. Oh yeah, mates. Maybe just have some Vegemite instead. Take the national dish off. Beans on toast. A little bit better. Show us the bow. Weapons at the ready. Twenty years ago, walk across it from all pollution. Maybe thirty. That's a bit of different from whatever the other might is. The only thing I know is that I it's pretty salty, and I once saw. A jaguar get his as enrichment trees in uh, in the zoo, uh, in a in a YouTube video, and it has and it melts its brain, <laughs> which is really funny. Hold on. Oh, I can't find this. Hold on, I'm, I'm seeing if I can find this. Nope. Can't find it, but uh, it is... Um... It's pretty funny, anyway. You're just gonna have to take my word for us. Your body will try, yeah, it's, I think it's just still pretty, pretty polluted. Baltazar guilt! For the Emperor! We are Sigma Death! For Helden Hammer! Nice. It was Mar Marmites. Never trust Fred. Oh. War. Yes. Men of the Empire, I am no warrior priest blessed with the gift of making grand speeches. For the good of the Empire, fight! Bring me victory! Lamaro! Kills! Away! Lore wise accurate. I heard people were uh, flushing so many um, like pres prescription drugs that the, the fish are mutating. Grand species of gifts. Yeah, you'd be surprised how many people in history made that into career. Good. I'm refusing to say the name because to invoke Goodwin's Law, but you know. The 
moving faster. Ready for more. The world's cleanest rivers from the three city, more surprising than reached the status of 60 years after being cleared, biologically dead by science at London's Natural History Museum. Nice. Some article I chose to believe since it agrees with me. Fair, fair Dinka mates. Very fair. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry everybody on um, on YouTube because when the st stream crashed before, I didn't guess the new chest, apparently, so I missed a couple of... Um, um, messages there. That's, uh, that's on me. Sorry about that. Do this then. Boom. Okay. Ready for war. Fix that soon. Oops, sorry, everybody on YouTube. See. I uh, this clicks. I didn't think that song was gonna start playing. Yeah, sorry there, Barton, Scheming Dan, the Dawn. The do this. Do this. Get in right there. Perfect. These dudes are getting wrecked though, left and right. I really should have like a healing thing on Gelt. Hey man, every viewer is important to me. Except until you're not. Which is never because I will always love you. But not someone you, you know who. Is bad, yeah. But no, we're gonna try to bend the rules though a little bit just for today. DG, who absolutely isn't, isn't singular, We're doing well. Going to the YouTube chats. Ooh. Lord. They'll never move again. Feel my ire. Yes, sir, quickly. We are Sigma's heirs. We will just go like this. Like this. Some magic that is so goddamn cheap. Holy moly! Darkness empower me, death and ruin. Feel the cold hands of death. They will never move again. Yes, 
magic. Mortar! My girl, Maraz! I am supreme! Very good. Rain's fishing still. Hmm. To be fair, though, those are just on the coastline, though. Don't go into the YouTube stream with saying hello without giving a like, thumbs up, or whatever. God damn it. I'll find you. Luton Occupy, really want those 800. Then we spend 400 on repairs. Mm, hammer witches. It's kind of cool, like kind of funny though that we have Hammer Witches and Kemmler in this in this game because Kemmler is uh, named after Heinrich Kramer, which wrote the Hammer Witches. I felt the urge to subscribe. Nice. Let us begin. Immortal dude. Who calls? Faith Bastion or Shield of Shield of Faith. Let's go with this. The Empire. Increase mobility. Better pendulum. Being bad, Gandalf. Yeah, it's based uh, by uh, Heinrich Kramer, who was a witch hunter, German uh, witch hunter, and uh, pretty bad person uh, who wrote the Hammer of Witches, which was, uh, you know, how to um, essentially uh, torture witches to get a confession. And lore wise, um, Kemmler also runs around. You know, chasing wizards a lot during his uh, in his stories. I am ready. I because the best thing he has is literally the skull staff, which um, um, tells him where enemy wizards are, where where yes, people are using magic, being homeless. Yeah. I'm not going to deny that. You're quicks. The quicks. I will set aside my studies for a moment to hear your words. Do that. I really want to play Car France now. <laughs> I don't know why. Should we do that tomorrow? Let us begin. I am the Supreme Patriarch. Willing to buy some property for a loan? Or like Xiaoming? A loan? He's, uh... 
Your loan of a million dollars. A million billion dollars. Lamar. Million billion. What's the victory condition like? The choice Cathay Empire? Just why? That is such a good question. I haven't even checked, honestly. Um, but it is a really good question because now I'm curious as well. Spearman! Hellman Gorst. Famous from. He's not as uh, cool though uh, when you know that he's just a Nepo baby because. Whenever people want to, uh, you know, don't have to think about money, they can do whatever they want to. And he was just like, My family did Hellman's mayonnaise, so I can just do um, necromancy. And then he got an internship with another rich dude, uh, another Nepo baby, Manfred. So he's not as uh, cool as you might think. Look at Giga Chad Gelt. He was a homeless urchin. He wasn't even, like, protected by the city guard. The city guard literally was going to kill him unless he managed to get to the school. Like, his way to school when he was a kid, it was insane. We are Sigma's heirs. Instead of Hellman from Hellman's mayonnaise family wealth. Yeah, that uh, was a bean boozle. It was just um, he misbalanced the boots, so I just couldn't resist. Nice and egg. True. School where your parents take every day. Yeah, so if you don't, guys don't know, like, Gelt's lore. Basically, this dude grew up in Marienburg. And to make it even better, if you are a wizard, you either are in the College of Magic or you are an apostate, you will... Yes. Rickety Rex. They are going to kill you. Uh, because they can't have people unsanctioned doing magic. Because that's how you get Chaos Cultists. Like, it's literally just how, how it works. Uh, so he had to... Uh, try his very, very best to simply go to the college. But as soon as he makes his steps, they won't try to kill him anymore. Because he had get, gotten caught transmuting a bunch of, like, worthless things into gold coins that were going to be reverting to, like, you know, worthless things after bits. Like a little scam artist urchin he was. Snakes and Loki, yeah, that would be pretty funny though. Should be probably something simplistic though, since the duel start like this. Hopefully. That's basically what they write uh, Gel's trick, yes. My favorite story is when um, an Electric Count of Middenheim, I think it is, is uh, going to revolt against Karl. Because he doesn't think Karl is the, um, is the proper um, emperor. So he's going to, like, you know, make a revolt. I can't actually remember if it was Middenheim, but I think so. Could have been another place for him. So... He gets wind of this, like, oh yeah, he's racing a, a mercenary army, and after that he's gonna march on on Altdorf, right? So Gelt is like, yeah, you know what? I'll go there. I'll talk reason to him. I know how it is. Goes to Sue, uh, tells them, bring me a horse that has wings. They're like, okay. Gets up on his little uh, Pegasus quickie dash or something. Rainbow quick dash. Flies over there. 
tells him like, hey, you shouldn't, because he's our legitimate Prince and Emperor. And the Empire is pretty sweet, because it makes us so that none of us die horrifically all the time from other horrible things. I like it. Do you like it? They're like, nah, fam, I'm gonna revolt against Carl, because I think he's lame. And then he says, but it's pretty late. If you want to, you can hang out in the guest house, or in the guest room, in the castle, and then you leave in the morning, okay? And you're like, no, it's just me who's telling uh, the story very stuntedly. And Geld says, all right, fam, that's pretty sweet. I can just stay in the guest house, in the guest crib. Okay. And the Lexus Count says, Fight. As night falls, Geld sneaks into the goal into the treasury. Where all the gold is to uh, to pay the mercenaries. And he's like Alaka worthless and makes it all into lead. Now, I don't know about you guys, but not a lot of mercenaries take lead as payments. Devaluing the continents with the amount of gold he has made worthless. He says, so long, suckers. And goes on, Rainbow Quicket Ash. Flies off to Althorf again. And the lecture counts at this point can't do a rebellion anymore. Goes out to the balcony. Where he sees Geld cackling in his metal mask off into the, the moon, like E.T. No, going uh, going away on a bicycle. He goes, Geld, I'll get you next time. But all that can be heard is <laughs> in his metallic mask. Once again, averting Empire from civil war. That was lore time with Fred. Next up. Car show. So, what do you think about this Master Mundi GT 500? Yeah, I think it's good. Alright. I mean, watch many our shows to get inspiration from. Priest here is now. Yeah, always been good. Always going to be good. They buffed too much to not be good. Just like this cat. He's so big, he's practically a single dog. Well, if he wishes, yeah. See how well he survives by himself. Probably very. Ready for war. They will never move Guilt away. <laughs> we are I don't know. I thought it was one of the more clever plot lines of um, of Warhammer. Anyway, 
It's only paraphrased though, not 100% exactly the words they used. Hope you guys understood this. Damage though. Yeah, Gelt is pretty uh, pretty strong so at this point. Pretty goddamn strong so. Holy banana man. Maybe I have to run though. Points. Two wins of magic. Um, new attributes. Well, he does guess uh, the entire, like, his campaign mechanic. Which is new and pretty cool. And it's pretty cool as well for the reason that... Um, I think, like, a couple of years ago, we asked if Tyrion and Teclis was ever going to guess any, um, any reworks or, like, their own campaign mechanics. Because they were be being power cre crept or something like quite a loss. And um, basically the answer we got was that they wanted to keep the like dudes you guess uh, with the base games. You want to keep them pretty um, pretty basic. So that people could just jump in and just play someone without having to learn a bunch of mechanics. So I guess that's kind of changed. But this one as well, because now they have different mechanics as well. Two base game dudes. But that's really cool. Though. These dudes have like completely different mechanics as well, like Gelt and Carl. Um, so that actually changed like quite a lot. At Master, yeah, dude, Master is um, sad. Sad Master noises. How much ammo left so you can just go in there, I guess. Take the go! Unless we're not exactly generic in their mechanics, because the Imperial system. I mean, like, the Imperial system definitely made it so that that was the generic mechanic, but yeah. It's cool that they get, like, different mechanics, both of them. Because that's really cool, I think. But it's, um, it's cool. You like the Empire's a mess? Hard busy work to unite it? Yeah, that's lore-wise accurate. <laughs> like, it really is. The thing about Karl Franz is that he's not like the best fighter of humanity. He's not the best wizard. Um, he is the best statesman and best diplomat in the world. Such arrogance. Instead, 
against that. Yeah. Carl ha is equipped with the best humanity has to offer. Short and the stick when it comes to faction mechanics. Uh, no, I don't think so. Nurgle is still like... It's better, but... I don't know. It takes to be good statesman. So you have to remember that the Empire has a lot of electric counts, right? Back when Sigmar wanted to uh, unite everything under one empire, there was just a bunch of tribes and kings. And Sigmar basically said, you're all counts now, there are no kings, I am emperor. So you are all now demoted to counts. Otherwise, I will murder every single person in this room. So they kind of had to agree on that, right? They're all kings in their own regard, over their own lands. Um, in all boss name, essentially. So all of them want to do things. Some of them are corrupted by chaos. All of them wants to wants power. To to make the empire do anything is always like weird politics where somebody will just oppose somebody for no reason other than they have they they want to oppose them, right? It's like herding cats onto a bus. Everything they do. So what he does essentially is just trying to make everyone work together and not fall apart and that in itself is hard during the time of three emperors they had 400 years where they couldn't even decide on emperor until uh asavar cool came along and almost burnt down the entire empire before magnus the pious took over so brass keep uh, well, now we have it, but he starts over in Cathay. But then you get the choice to leave everything and become homeless. And Chad wanted us to do this. Supposed to be a zookeeper. Yeah, that's not in the door, but... Not that angry. So we've just taken over a bunch of stuff here. When we came back. Come then. Only... What? What? By Sigma's will, come in peace. Very well. What? Who calls? Death before life. Now. So, for example, Carl is also one of the. Um. um only ones who have actually had diplomacy with the Wood Elves. Wood Elves are incredibly, incredibly isolationist. But Carl literally has, like, has talks with them. He talks to the dwarves. Uh, he has a lot of, like, diplomatic lines out there. Where people actually, you know... Other races actually listen to him. Which, usually, they don't with people, with humans. Like, Carl is great at diplomacy, like, insanely good, but... It's hard to translate into a game called Total War, right? But that's also why I personally don't mind... Um, the Empire being insanely tough to unite. Uh, what?! Come then, only Sigma's got... By the comet. Welcome. Oh, uh, well, we have military access anyway. Yes. The Supreme Patriarch. The Empire. Transmutation. Yeah. Boris is like, hello there. 
Didn't want to see him homeless. Yeah, that's basically what they did. Cathay had nothing to do with this. It was mainly like, oh, this seems like the worst choice for a nerd. <laughs> Arlab. Um, yeah, we can't really win it, that one. Holy crap. Okay, maybe we could have... What the hell? That was the... Water soul of... Water soul. What's the wind conditions now? We will see. Because I will focus now and try to remember to put that in. Control with taxes. I think it takes some control. Victory conditions. Complete three... 12 unique colors of magic repeatable action unlocks. Yes. 30 places. Your capacity plus 3. Uh, 75 places or 24 cards of magic repeatable actions or unlocks. Yeah, 75 places, I guess. I am ready. Are you? No beast, just war. I, w I was expecting a larger garrison. One dude sitting there. Fancy. Yes, my lord. I will marshal the band. Do not waste my potential. Okay, okay, then. What? Okay, okay. It is time. And she have. What do you seek? Cool one here. A grey wizard joins our ranks, wielding the Lord of Shadow. Scorned by some as trickster wizards, self proclaimed great guardians work beneath the veil of darkness, raising the energies of Ulgu to cast illusions and sow confusion among their foes. In venture of conspiracy, subterfuge and scheming, all is facilitated by the grey winds of magic. My powers are yours. Curious. Mm. Okay, let's see. Okay, I still need like 12,000 for that one though, to get the gray wand to give it to her because I want to see just if, if she can have it. Would you get more? Ready. Essays if they are if you get them in here, right? Someone said. What do you see? Let's try that for, for a second. Demon. It's steel and gunpowder covered. Magic stuff. I think fates good spots. I think there's gonna be another DLC. Uh, for Boris the and Imperial Cults. Unity is the surest shield against our... If Elsef is popular, then people will go for Boris as well, I think. Just more strange carpet, Harry Potter, than in Wizards setting. <laughs> Class. Yeah, no, totally. I was playing Crusader Kings 3. I was playing Norse Conquest Britannia. So I'm looking about in the region screen. I noticed Iceland has gone a binic. Oh, nice. Animal Santa failed then. Twenty thirty. Yeah, apparently they're 
rumors say they're cutting down on Warhammer DLCs. But who knows, in reality, what's happening over there. Heard um, Empire 2 was the thing, but that was put on our, all of those were put on ice. Now, wielder of the pales. So, by Sigma's will, who knows nowadays? The Empire, yes, what? Amethyst Mage. Ambush chance for everyone. Stalking stands for Grey Wizard Army as well. That is so crazy, actually. Now, we have great sickness. You summon me. I seal it. have zero places left. Vision editions. It's just uh, you have to do 12 or 24 actions in this cause of magic. And then you have to have. Um... Let us begin. 35 or 75 raised occupy settlements. No way, I said never. By the comet. I've been looking. Dudes have five places. Could just take Zavastra, but I'll take Erengrad first. Cha cha cha. Even a rebellion. Do I want to protect this place, or do I want to give it away to somebody? Come then, only Sigma's god Ulrich can judge it worthy or no. Greetings from Sigma. I will. Aren't somehow I'm trusted. Most of the time, no. Yes. Yeah, the new dudes around here as well for Middenheim. Greetings, fellow the old who calls old soul bones. Hmm. Okay, we'll kill this th place. I think we'll do Carl tomorrow. Seems good. Bard? Oh, going pretty well. Thank you for asking. How are you today? How is everybody today? You guys doing well? How about good? Watching Barbie last night. Enjoy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty dark, but good. I am ready. Are you?
When? Well, Prince, is glad you asked. We are allowed to show that on Tuesday, but I'm not going to stream on Tuesday. So instead, it's going to be Wednesday. Right and early Wednesday. Because Tuesday is like 3 p.m. BST, so I'm like... Usually, like, day one embargoes is usually bad for me anyway. And this is my Tuesday, and, you know, usually I'm only stream for, like, two hours more. It's like, meh. No. Ulrich's will. Hello, Norskins. Would you like to get some Daka and Kaboom? I saw something on the floor, but it wasn't anything there. Kill all this himself, I wonder. It was back then. Okay, Borg. What are you doing today? What, are you in Dubai or something? There were massive floodings there. This is better now. Never felt that good. Let's bounce. Yeah, I was better than it used to be. Nice. Okay. Except this. Scream their own name, steps. He taps them on the shoulder like four hands. Her rage fed. What you have to do. Good thing is, if Fiend's uh, buffed, or maybe these two's just garbage. Maybe a little bit of both. Stuff by himself with this. Obviously, doesn't become a melee monster like this sort of cane. We've got old magic. Okay, hey, long walk during the morning. The mountains and horse are dry. And they're lying on the floor like a sword. Nice.
Can we do this by ourselves? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, well he almost he's almost dead after like a small play a small um garrison boss. Moving now! Shut up! This was not meant to be Haste gold magic. Didn't take one look at El Samoth's armor was like Thought it. We are if it were golden, heirs. gold. What? Find the enemy. I am supreme. Formation. March. Who knows? I'm not sure if he actually respects the other schools of magic in that regard. Ready for Enough to not just not think it's I just nonsense. Tarbringer. Oh, so we're doing Carl tomorrow, I think. Because they have completely different mechanics, Carl and um Carl and uh, Gelt. I'm sorry, thank you so much for that raider. Appreciate it, buddy. How's your stream? What were your streams today? Did these dudes actually get any kills? I didn't bring them in. What the hell, Dyrus? Ooh, nice. You nice. stream bard? out in the lore are they buddies i was talking about that earlier how uh, gelt is in, is always incredibly loyal to the empire and not to carl specifically but to the empire but carl is the emperor so obviously it's all like you know as long as carl is legit then gelt will be loyal to him as well but i don't think they hang out in that regard how much we're going pretty okay i think dark an ancient magic of nemesis crown is stirring before you Lies a momentous decision, a choice that may impact the course of destiny and the face of the entire world. It seal the crown away, discarding the power it grants to that its malignant peasants may never affect you again. But why should you? If this power cannot be destroyed, why should you not be its bearer? Yeah, get down more, get even more. Lamau, even stronger. That's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll take it to keep the crown, see how far we go. Empowered. Next level. Wow, it actually goes even higher. Nice. Just have to keep fighting parts. I am ready. Are you? In the Carl has to keep all wizards at a distance just because how the public will judge him with association. Tolerate as necessary evil. Entirely trusted. I'm fairly sure Gelt is still in the in the councils and stuff. Because they do have councils quite often. With every all of the heads of different departments of governments. Gelt is just uh, another minister of another branch of government, really. The Empire. You summon me.
sanitation um due to discharge sanitation there's like the um, sewer watch as well that is you know they have to go down into the sewers and you know clear house maintenance and um you know murder monsters that go too close to the outside and mutants so it's an incredibly dangerous job if somebody's actually in charge of sanitation like those dudes are badasses probably it is good to wielder of the pale bring barely scarred everywhere wisdom, and it I seems Marie. The more fire and the empire. What? Amethyst mage. Yes. Amethyst guardian. So. Von Draken. Who calls? For Verena and Nolm. You my is serious, not at all. To fight a low key war against Skaven, yeah, constantly. Because uh, it's not a, in the game, but in the lore, like mutants are a huge thing. Like they are always this like level one mob that comes at you, level one to five basically. That's just like mutants that are all look completely different from each other, and still completely uh, uniform. What does the I do not suffer fools. The nation calls. Welcome, my countrymen. Affirmative. There's always tons and tons of mutants on the roads. In the wilderness, in the sewers. Brace Sigma. Ye have brain sickness. Trying to escape in Northorf. They had mutants as well, right? Very good hand to hand combats. Well, mutants are literally like so. kids that they just, yes. or babies that they just put out into the what? woods or by sewer grates or whatever, and like other mutants or beastmen or something like that will take care of them. Ah. Yoop! I don't. Welcome to the channel. Reading would be template applied to a base creature. Yeah. Let's move in your opinion. Um Forrest Gump. I don't know. Ready! Depends. Forrest Gump, Grand Budapest Hotel. Depends on what you mean with the best movie in what category. There's a lot of different takes on movies. I'm a huge Deadpool fan. I literally waited 10 years to get that movie made. Read all the comic books until certain points. And I'll tell you this. Deadpool 2, way more um, into the um, like source material than Deadpool 1 is. Deadpool 1 is cool. Deadpool 2 is way close to the comic books. Budapest, Grand Budapest Hotel is, uh, is fantastic. So, yeah, I mean, like, not sat in a room, but, like, I, I, there's always, like, rumor that it was going to be made. Wow, that was pretty cool how they uh, tried to lure us out. Santa Claus, seriously. 
Santa Claus in Marvel Universe is like uh, Omega level mutants. Um, and it's like reality shaping powers essentially. And Deadpool and Santa Claus have actually teamed up before as well, together with like a bunch of other dudes. Like Santa shows up every once in a while. Didn't realize all the things early on. There lots of creepy things. I didn't know too. Huh. Ready, Find your targets. Let's see here in December. guys halfway through no like 3 p.m bst on tuesday but we're uh, we're streaming it on wednesday instead because it's too um place on my command for friends sigma preserve us taking position for friends For Helden Hammer! For orders now! Charge! Soldiers of the Empire! Oops. Where are you guys firing now? Random places. Okay. These dudes aren't large, the uh, Chaos Warhand, so don't actually need to use like spearmen or anything like that against them. Thanks. Nice. Just chase the mass. Yeah, and this dude will just die. Alright, well, very soon. What's the best uh, move in you guys' opinion, though? The room? V from that, V from that, for that is pretty cool, yeah. Matrix Slaughter? Which one? If you only had to pick one. The Matrix I saw like 50 times, I think. I just got it, like, I got a PlayStation 2 and I got uh, the Matrix on DVD. And I watched it like back to back like 30 or 50 times or something. And I had it on VHS before that as well. And I just uh, watched so many times. Then I got into like Kung Fu movies and then I learned. Went in and started like practicing kung fu and stuff like that. Um, 
that I had like two black belts, and I was like, I'm gonna rewatch this movie, and I watched The Matrix again, and I was like, Jesus Christ, this is the worst kung fu I've ever seen in my life. This, like, they, uh, they are very much like beginner-esque kung fu, very, very poorly choreographed movie once you actually know what they're doing. Or like, fun fact about this. Garion? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. Well, Anger Man, don't want. Yeah, that's a pretty good one as well. Intouchable? I don't know if I've seen Intouchable. It was on TV like every day. Hmm. It's called Amongst Medically Abeam. What does the Emperor bid? No. To the provinces? I, I just, uh, I don't think I've seen that one anyway. Let's get, I'll have to Google. Maybe I have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've definitely seen that one. It's pretty, it's, yeah, that's really good. What? I am the Supreme Patriarch. I hated that. I was like, no, this movie is too French. I will make a version that is American. <laughs> it is made like the same movie, but they speak of uh, yes, English man. instead. What? But that was pretty funny. Serious movie, yeah. I, think, I don't know which one that one is. I think. I'm afraid that I don't really mind when they do that Swedish movies because all Swedish movies are like ripped off from something else anyway. Like the most Swedish movie we have is like Jönsson Ligan, which is just um, a Danish movie or a Norwegian movie series anyway. I can't complain too much about it, I guess. We're winning always so much. I am ready. Are you? I'm gonna kill this dude. <laughs> Recorded. Well, so far we haven't. We've been homeless as well. We could probably kill a Thane. Well, Hama Thane Frost. Or maybe just let him kill off Nord and we can have the entire region. Lady of what? what? Guess that's better. Approaches for Empire's blessings. Yeah. Who calls? The Empire. Yes. Yeah, we were with a lot of stuff. It was a very, very powerful, so it's neat for you. That's very neat. So, so yes. Ready. It is time. I do not want to lose this place. I uh, the Kundites are bear. gone, Aris. Let's uh, turn, Aris. Yeah, they are. I always have these Norskins to deal with. To the provinces. So. 
guess we'll kill off Tara Crack. Oryx will! No, I will not be compelled! I shall be victor! Bash him, bash him. Get the A-man now. Yeah. Yes, boss. Uh, you get a dilemma if you want to go back and be homeless with a bunch of money. And some cool buffs. Or if you actually want to... Um, uh, no. Stay in Cathay, and everybody voted very, Cools. like, quite a lot to make me homeless. By the comet. Do not waste my potential. Very important part for a lot of people. Patriarch. The Empire. Praise Sigma. So I obliged. Permanent. Now, it's only for 10 turns, so it's actually not worth it at all. Because you give away, like, two regions. 25k. Which, even if you would sell that to, uh, to him back, you would probably get more. But did you get teleported back to Altdorf? And then, uh, you know... Do whatever. Let's kill off these rebels. I am ready. Are you on march? Yes, that's stupid rebels. Officers back. Yeah, but it could get to uh, agreement as well, or just you know. Tell him absolutely no. I am the Supreme Patriarch. Let us begin. You refuse. Well, you could always be uh, do a compromise. Yes. What does the Emperor bid? Rebellion, you say? I mean, they can handle this. I think. Yeah, probably can. Wow, if we got that one, it would be so much easier, but that's fine. It's fine, we can also just do this. If we don't get, well, you're gonna get a rebellion regardless, ain't you? Ain't you? It's you and me. Get that, we will go for um the nation calls. Now we can't actually sail to that dude. Alright. You summon me. I'll grab this place then. Smooth place. Curl. Carriage. Carl. Do not waste my potential. Dang, we're in that part of the campaign now. Just steamrolling with weird stuff. I guess we can do a couple of quest battles, I see if we can actually ready. do, um... Are you? Watering Felix one as well. Say we're steamrolling, we're like making, um... The nation calls. Incredible, yes, small, incredibly small amounts of money, honestly, like incredibly.
two and a half thousand here though. See it on Steam. Yeah, it's kinda weird, right? I wanted to find that quest battle order so mod isn't working. <laughs> I'm just jamboss. It's bad, man. What are we gonna do? Play them? I'm gonna open. Dang. Friday on, and uh, yesterday when it was our wedding anniversary, I ate so much. I don't think I would like actually need to eat anything until Tuesday. Ready. Show me the accused. It's wild. I will marshal the bed. Let us begin. What do I need here? I need these things. Strength of hardship. Yeah. What have I had? 12 days now. By the comet. Well, that's uh wait, have you really though? What if I can murder this dude? It is best to move. It is good to see fellow. I'm out. Ahoy hoy, Hama. Ahoy hoy. Smelly nurgle ogres are superior in every way to normal smelly ogres. I mean, they are just blessed, right? For weeks. You're like Obviously, you don't have to answer these if you don't want to, but like, are you like very overweight or something? Because that's like a long ass time to not eat anything. And that only really works if you have a bunch of uh, deposits already that you can actually take from. So, usually, it's like water and then vitamins and stuff you take. I mean, like, obviously, probably you would be dead, I guess. Like four weeks water fasting is like a loss. By my will alone. Muscles. Yeah, but that's like if you don't care about your muscles, then it's fine. Yes, sir. I am supreme. Surprising amount of people don't care about their gains. You don't have to, I would say. Twelve days, seventy eight. Wow. Bow before me. Cavalry ready. Oh, it works for you. It works for you. He's a die star. Yeah, but that's like twenty kilos of you know whatever. Usually, like a lot of people, with, like water fasting isn't that rare um, for like a couple of days. Sigma American, it's about um, um, you uh, you double it and then you uh, take twenty percent up. That's how you convert to uh, to the bus. I guess it's um, hundred and sixty plus twenty, so like. 180, yeah. Around 180. Yes, General. Sigma guides us. A little bit less. Outriders. The Empire endures. Around 70 something. Yes. No. Yeah. Outriders. Yeah. 100. Yeah. What 
What are we on about? What are you on about? You're a mod. You should know everything intricately. You just go in and you just zoom, zoom around in the vault. You see what people are talking about. You just add it to the conversation. That's your job, isn't it? That's what I pay you for. Yeah, but you don't haven't asked for any or I ignore them, so I mean like pay is pay. Damn it. Point two. Alright. Um. What do you think most people miss an edge kick? rework about sir remember they said wizards with different how yeah that's uh, that's correct though i'll show you here in a in a second it's pretty cool first off you start a cafe and get a dilemma if you want to go back and be homeless for money or if you just want to keep on being in um in, in cafe uh chat voted to be homeless uh to no one's surprise i guess Uh, then you also get the Wister College, which is like a lot of really cool stuff. Sodium. I still don't drink enough water, yeah. Yeah, essentially you're getting your energy from um, from your fat deposits. And it's also going to be like at that at that long point, it's also going to be, um, you know, your uh, internal organs and, uh, and muscle mass and stuff like that. Uh, but not to like any super effects. From what I read, um, only these is basic vitamins and water. Lots and lots of. Okay, what's this mean? Start location, they begin campaign. Yeah, you, you start off in Cathay, you fight the Burning Nomads, the Red Tribes dudes. Um, burning Wind Nomads, whatever, the, the Red dudes right by uh, Zhao Ming. And then when you take in all their places, then you get a dilemma to uh, <laughs> give that back to Zhao. Uh, for 25,000 and a pretty good buff, but it's only for 10... Um, it's only for 10, uh, 10 turns to get the really cool buff. Or you, you know, keep being in Cathay instead of going home. Almost everyone can get him. It's a hard quest battle though to get him. In Cathay East, yeah. Just think competitive eaters still healthier. Their person. Once we start burning fat for you, yeah, we'll go in ketosis. As it's nicknamed. You summon me. Yes, that will do. Wind of Shamon, I will. And about the other faction with a red and white shield. Strong location of God's name. Center. Yeah, Reichland is still um, Carl is Carl. 
And then uh, Noln has uh, Elsef. I serve Sigma. Orders heeded. The dead are thick about you. Welcome. Our Lord. Praise Sigma. The nation calls. The dead are thick. Do not waste my potential. <laughs> Quit talking about us. Let us begin. What kind of thick are you talking about? It is time. Is Sutherland? It's Nolia. Yeah. Thick and dead. Yep. I am ready. Are you? True. Staying Cathay, do you get him my penalties? No, no, uh, you can make him like a uh, like you as well. You get a ton of diplomacy with Cathayans. I am the supreme patriarch. That's jog, and that's all. Yeah, I mean, like. Not for everyone. That's why I was like kind of joking about it. Praise Sigma. Like ten percent of people actually care about gains. It's a, it's a very small amount of people who, who care about this. Is it bros? Yeah. They're also both metal wizards. Max all that and gains. Yep, cultivating mass. Got to do this. Oh, they actually were in uh, the um, Mortal Empires trailer though a year ago. Um, then you know, Geld is together with um, uh, Zhao Ming standing there in Cathay, and people are like, "Oh yeah, those are wizards." But now they're you know starting together, so that's kind of cool. You know, foreshadowing. Who would have thought that's immersive storytelling? Some of those kids would call it the Chekhov's gun, huh? What are you? Strix, um, ways. Cunning. Ooh, cunning. Nice. Strix obedience, physical resistance, non breakable. Templar. Way of the wolf. Inform what? Now, now we don't have to make every platonic relationship that kind of thing. That's how we guess all of that Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring fanfic. Enter the mind, but it can never leave. Once you read it, it cannot be unread. Mela defense, 50 meters. What? So if there's a terror unit around, everyone gets 12 melee defense and melee attack? That's crazy much. Holy shit. It's Age of Reckoning. Yeah, uh, exactly. I talked about that as well. Pretty cool. It's really cool, actually. Really, really unique things. Okay, it's normal stuff. Flaming attacks, though. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Against uh, you know a lot of stuff. Word say plus ten. Those are always been there. Those slippery, but extra powder is also cool. Uh, explosive things for the first couple of hits, isn't it? Oh, it's just for everyone around him. Nice. Norse can get some reward. Wolf will start in Cathay. Yeah, he, he should. He can start whatever because he has like a teleporting god and boats. Infuriates me something fierce that the only dude who has teleportation in the lore doesn't get teleportation. Hunters, this affects allies in range. 
By the comet. I thought it was everyone around him 50 meters. 50 meters isn't long though, so it's like one unit maybe. State of Norsk is literally... Yeah, maybe it's just for him. Thought it was range 50 meters around him in an aura. Maybe it's terror units in the range. Yeah, maybe. We'll have to check it out. The pretend wasn't invented where I won. Yeah, that's actually it. People don't remember that uh, if you want to teleport to quest battles in Warhammer 1, it was like 10,000 gold. 5 to 10,000 gold to just teleport to a quest battle. And then they noticed that people just didn't do the quest battles because they didn't want to travel to the edge of the planet for it. So you had to send like a banshee with Manfred to over here. Then you had to send a white king and then a vampire like over here to do them. That got wrecked by the Empire, though. Who calls? I am chosen. Only steer for ghouls are pretty bad anyway, unless you fight stuff without armor. Yes, my lord. Our cat is like one of the best necromancers on the planet. Ready. Top three or something. Top four. He's like girls. Ghouls aren't even undead, not proper undead, they're just cursed people. I had an argument about this with somebody in the YouTube comments for some awful reason. But, um... Ghouls aren't actually undead. Ghouls are what happens when you uh, resort to cannibalism in Warhammer, then the cursed energies follow you forever. Slowly degenerate you into uh, um, into a ghoul, which simply are drawn to dark magic, such as you know necromancers, and even extra much of, you know, to um, to strigois. But they're not proper, proper undead. Do not waste my potential. <laughs> Who calls? Show me the, the wizards to no friends. Yeah, they also live a bunch longer. Than um, regular wizards, you know, because of the whole not gonna die business. Like Kemner, Kemner is technically, you know, alive. It's not he either undead. But Crypt Horrors, Crypt Horrors are ghouls that have gotten some vampiric blood, which works as a steroid for them. So then they become really muscle beachy. Dead passive. I do not grant the rank of proper undead. Turn our crypt horror into a vampire. Now nah, the biggest become a crypt horror. Roll country has always has been a four place for long as time has this and worm three. Garakis. 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 What does the Emperor bid? Mm. 
Mm. Cool level Lucian Pants. You have a cap to Crypt Horror. True. Again, we're actually with Dark God. It's a use undead and not demons. Warhammer lore is, um, is wild and confusing, no. contradictory in a lot of ways. But basically... <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Kemmler, like we talked about before, was chasing wizards and stuff like this. Like, his namesake comes from Heinrich Kramer, which was a old German witch hunter, right? Uh, so, in the lore, his skull staff is his best weapon because it rattles whenever magic users are, are near. So, he hunts down evil magic users. Not because he's a good guy, but because he doesn't want competition. Right? So, what happens then... Oh, I can stand a little further back and it looks a little bit cooler. And then... Uh, at, at one point, he just uses too much magic and kind of, you know, miscasts pretty heavily. So, what happens then is basically his mind gets fried like he's on acid. He runs around this mountain range... ...without magic powers in, like, potato bag, basically. Like, uh... Crack Gandalf Gollum kind of ways, his bear crawls everywhere, whispering to himself because his mind gets completely shattered by the miscast that he does when he fights a bunch of uh, really, really strong magic users. He wins, but he blows himself up in the. Well, not exactly like blow up, but he like uses his, the magic wrong, mischannel, miscasts his channeling. Um, then, after running up and down here a couple of times, they, um, the dark gods whisper, Hey, buddy. Hey. Maybe you, uh, you want your powers back. Maybe you want sanity, huh? A little bit of sanity, huh? Being able to think straight, huh? Do you want to do this? And he's like, yes. And then, they say, Well, all you got to do is, uh, you know, be a little dude. Are you? It's going to be cool. It's pretty easy. He's like, yes, master, I'll do anything for my magic power and sanity back. I'm like, okay, let's go to, uh, let's go to the frozen lake. There's a dude there. A little bit traps. Okay. Is he, like, in prison? No. He's kind of in the frozen ice, you know, ward stones around. No piggy. Okay, so what crime did he do? Well, kind of killed a lot of people. Came low. You know, just uh, put him in stops. They just sealed him away inside the ice. Ah, uh, okay. I'll just uh, do that, I guess. Yeah, okay. Just go there. Then he brings up Krell from the dredges because Krell slaughtered so many dwarf and ho dwarven holds. And during the Age of Sigmar, um, not Age of Sigmar, but Sigmar when he was alive. Had to fight him because Nagash brought him back because he was a corn champion that was really, really strong. And they couldn't stop him when he was in his undead form. So what happened was that Kemmler later on uh, managed to free him from his concealment because they just like, you know, got him out on a lake, punctured the ice, put ward stones around, couldn't get up again. They're like, yeah, it's good enough for me. Let's go have lunch. So. Kemmler managed to free him, and then the Dark Gods give him his powers back and sanity, so he's not, like, completely mind-broken anymore. So now he's just a regularly insane, creepy 500-year-old man that resembles crackhead Gandalf, but now with clothes. And uh, that's why he kind of, you know... Has a bit of allegiance to the Dark Gods, because they actually did help him. Uh, but also, it's... Like I said, Warhammer lore is kind of contradictory in a, in a lot of ways. Um, because the Dark... Like, the Chaos Gods hate necromancy. Necromancy is the antithesis to Chaos. Because Chaos wants everything to, you know, follow the cycle. They want new souls for everything. They want new souls for... For the, for the big grinder. Um, that is 
you know, the world, for the great games, everything like this. And if you have Undead, they just it is best to don't, you know, nothing ever happens again. You just have a, a so. world of puppets, darkness. It's literally the, the opposite of chaos. Seems to Scotland be very cheap. Yeah, basically. Um, hey, Ben Booker. Um, I am the supreme patriarch. Um, Akol Elbras talks about this when he's killing Ulrika and Vlad, because Akol is a sentient champion that has the lore of life, and whenever he touches a vampire. With, um, you know, wherever he walks, flowers sprout from the ground. Uh, grass starts coming around everywhere, like butterflies come to life, unmutated. Just like, you know, life comes around him. When he touches a vampire, the curse is removed. Um, that is the vampirism. And he, and they just die. They, like, literally get to die. And they sprout out with, like, flowers and roots and leaves and everything like that. And just die. This is, like... When you read a lot of vampire books, and then, then there's a dude who just, like, murders them by touching them. Vampires by high fying them. Yeah, basically. He heals them so they die. Uh, and he talks about this, like, how... Uh, undead are literally the antithesis for chaos. It's really weird as well, because it's like in... Um, in, uh, in the end times as well, where the chaos is murdering the world, which is also just like putting a stop to everything anyway, so it's kind of... No, it's weird. Plus... See again, became the most loyal husband of all time. The Empire! Snap him. That's Akol. Yeah, it is. Akol is really badass in the lore. You guys want to know the, the worst part about Akol in the games? In the lore... Listen to this. He can fly by surfing on his flying sword. He like jumps up on it and then like Marty McFly just goes like, Woo! But here he's like the slowest bastard in the planet is going like, I'll get to the battle when I get there. I don't know what Murim is. I guess I'm going to know the story of um, Vlad and Issy as well. Skelander's fall. Let us begin. It's because Drake Nora wanted that one. Yes. No peace, just war. All right, the story of how Vlad von Karstein met uh, Isabella von Drac. Drakenhof? Ah, uh, well. If you gave 1920s. Um, okay, I'm gonna fill up my water so I can do the 1920s noir. So, picture this, a dark, gloomy, black and white room, there's no color, there. it's not invented yet. Isabella's um, 
that Otto is dying. He's laying in bed. And it's literally his last moments in life. Her uncle Leopold is standing right next to his brother Otto. Isabella's dad. Basically going, well, I guess everything goes to Isabella now, eh? She's a fine dame. Legs that go all across the room, if you know what I mean. Heh heh heh. Because he's a creep. Uncle Leopold is awful. Isabella. Not really wanting to marry her uncle, Otto. No, wait, Le Uncle Leopold. Because, once again, he is creepy, ugly, and... Just insanely creepy, who just talks weirdly about his, his niece, right? In. Blast the door open. Door blasts open. Full of dark strangers standing there. Goes... What's wrong, Dame? You look a little bit down. Is this, uh, Giggly Mug bothering you? She doesn't say anything. Uncle Leopold goes over and says like, Hey! Your kind's not supposed to be around here. And pushes him. It doesn't actually push him, but um, I wanted that for uh, for ambiance. And he says, and Vlad says, "You see, this dame here, she needs a real, real man, someone can, who can give, provide good fisticuffs." Otto in bed doesn't know what's happening anymore. Wants to just bless some marriage at this point. Uncle Leopold antagonizing Vlad a little bit too much. Vlad says, I'll give give you, sweet thing, a good enough wedding peasant. So he takes Uncle Leopold on his shoulder, rips out his heart, and says, this is for you. Tootsie Pop and gives it to Isabella. And Isabella is so happy because she is also a violent psychopath. Her dad, Otto, in bed, eyes of a heart attack after what he's seen. They are now married. A little bit paraphrased, but that is how the story goes. Awaiting orders. Mortar. For Heldenhammer. I thirst. Spearman. Look, my 1920s slang. I'm um, uh, just uh, wasn't ready for use it. I got a couple more now that I uh, I had time to think about it. By my will alone. Like Vlad could have said. You ain't no dewbug either. Maybe you should uh, take a run for us, so you wouldn't uh, pick up any wooden nickels around here, eh? I said that as well, but you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. Hey, what is I doing? <laughs> Just to make it stop. By noon, ready! By Ulrich's wrath! Crew to cannons! Not that duo or better rules than Otto ever was. Well, he wasn't like, you know, Otto was pretty bad. It doesn't mean like Vlad was good at uh, what Vlad did, basically. So, Sylvania was like kind of cursed from the get go. It had a lot of like weird shit happening already. Uh, what Vlad did was basically just go out in the forest and just went like, you know, like monster hounds and monster bats, stuff like that. He just went like, and then Vlad just came around and he was like,
Maybe you guys shouldn't be on the roads anymore. Okay. And so the monsters weren't allowed on the roads anymore. That's basically it. <laughs> Glad thought that maybe you don't have to torture your food if you're gonna eat it. Because that's cruel. But he didn't think of people as people. It was just like, you don't have to be cruel to the cattle. Yeah, you don't have to needlessly menace the peasants. You can kill them if you want to or need to, but like you shouldn't like needlessly antagonize them. I started using him until the cannons how long he had rules. He was good in the way that the other people were worse. It doesn't mean that he still didn't kidnap people to eat them. People under him weren't better off than they were in the Empire, for example. Because the Empire, if you check like medieval Europe, for example, or like what would be like the equivalent of, you know, Europe. Empire has it really good. Like, they are well off. They are probably better off than a Bretonian Peasant. Bretonian Peasant is like, they don't even have the... You don't have to be needlessly cruel or law over there. In Bretonia, it's like, no, you have to be needlessly cruel. Otherwise, they don't understand you. all the time do you think they will ever do a war or decay yeah yeah I, I think they're they're already like has started and it's gonna be ready in like 2028 or something would be my guess Techless beyond this faction. We'll see. Techless still is uh, just as powerful because he's just like birds. <laughs> he's block of doom all the time. Like the bird man. Never move again. Come out, look at this. We'll be back. Oh, that kills them as well. That's neat. 
This cast will sit right by my keys all the time. As soon as I move uh, and touch him, he'll bite me. Then he'll just sit there and like have a stare down with me. <laughs> I bought a cast bed just so he could have like a place where he wouldn't, where I wouldn't like accidentally maybe step on him all the time. But another cat stole it. A much smaller one that is more ferocious. Chosen, blessed by four gods. It's blessed by metal man's bowling ball. Not a lot of them actually get get blessed by uh, like all the gods. If you're if you get blessed by all the gods, you're literally the ever chosen. The Empire endures. We are Sigma's heirs. Let's go. Can walk in now, I guess. No lingering for hell and hammer. That awaits. I don't want to know. Depending on how many other people are also trying to get into the volleyball team. Kind of like a political thing, you gotta be just the right candidates and backing, don't just do the work and get in. Well, some people will try to. Some of them get a prophecy written thousand years earlier, and then you know, endless machinations to make it happen. So, you know, sometimes it's nepotism, sometimes they just really, you know, try to do this. But actually, winning is a different thing. And there were a couple of ever chosen for Archaeon. I was like, technically, 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 Archaon's dad is Bellacor. Footsons guns, there's no friendly fire. Feel my heart. We are Sigma's base the coolest person in end times. Nice kicks. Well, not exactly ass kick, but he definitely, um, somebody snuck up on him, turned him into stone. Thirty to sixty. That is so crazy good, actually. Jesus Christ. That's gonna turn make so many one man armies just from this. Just from that aura. That's like twice as much as a Morse engine, damage wise. <laughs> Basically. Bellacor possesses a Norsekin dude of the cool tribe. Cool tribe. Really cool, eh? Have you seen how cool this, this tribe is? Uh, same as Asawar cool was from. It means fun in Swedish. 
Um, and um, it's like this really, really awkward moment. Like, incredibly awkward. Because there's this uh, place in um, in Norland. It's getting raided by, uh, by Norskins. And then <laughs> a giant Norskin breaks into a house. Looks a woman in the eyes. And then they both know she's pregnant. At that moment, thanks to him, then he gets killed. And they're both like, what? Because they, they, they don't, you know, they, they, he just goes in, stands in the doorway, they look each other in the eyes. That's it, that's what happens. To be fair, it hasn't been a lot of the UCs in two years. They definitely slowed down quite a bit. By my will alone. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, Chaos Ogres are always cool. Ogres are natural resistant to Chaos, but in Warhammer lore, sometimes they're not. There's this corn... Um, Ogre as well, called the Great Spleen, which is follower is in the in a warrior of chaos army, and they just sedate that dude constantly. They're like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with this." <laughs> we are Make him sleep. It's like orcs. Orcs never fall to uh, to chaos, except for when they do. You can't talk to orcs except for when you can. By Ulrich's wrath. Sigma's blessing upon this. Take the crown. Need major omission. Booster heroes aren't that big of a loss. You maybe. I'm like, I've always wanted this booster hero. No lingering. I've always wanted this. Since five fifty seconds ago. Grom Hellscream is my favorite chaos orc. You ever thought about Grom Hellscream? How he's just actually an orc slayer? Who's like, I've done bad, therefore I will do something glorious to further uh, orc kinds. Ever think about that? Ready. Formation. So I ever think about? Understandable. Ranging 
You can go back, you can like this. Stop. The blizzard model. Yeah, we, force. we play every force for like, you know, three or four days or something. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. Really looking forward to trying out Carl tomorrow. Carl. For the twin -tailed comet. Ready to smite. Fire! Are they just leaving now? Production. Norska is one of those really, really fun um, um, factions that literally everyone has some idea on how to improve them, and all of them are correct because it's such a shitty situation they're in. Ready to smite. Attack. <laughs> they're so bad now at this point. Same as Wood L, same as every other Warhammer 1 faction. Yeah, they haven't changed at all, basically. Well, they did get supports um, and be able to, like, have buildings everywhere. Still have, like, basically the same problems, though. Four years, yeah. The last uh, Vampire update was, like, what, 2018? And even then, DA knew that it wasn't enough. They were already, like, thinking of what else they could do, but then, you know, things happen all the time. Yeah, more now, um, Empire Dwarves are getting their second and fourth updates for the Dwarves. Yeah, it's the fourth update, right? Most reasons, what it didn't sell 
more enough. I don't know what the obvious are. There's probably a lot of reasons. Nice. Finally, a tower of crack. I always wanted that. A dark and ancient power so the nemesis crown is stirring. Before you lie, some momentous decision, a choice that may impact the course of destiny, the fate of the entire world. You could seal the crown away, scar the power it grants, so its malign presence may never affect you again. But why should you, if this power cannot be destroyed? Why should you not be its wearer? Yeah, we'll keep it again. Hey, hey, tea. nice. Next level, a hundred minus for everybody. Nice. Option plus three is about 40 to 80. Wow. <laughs> I'm including into one and two, turn into thing, eight up anytime. Yeah, I, you can basically tell. I've talked about this a couple of times, but you can basically tell how CA hates Norsk at this point. How somebody was like stuck. On trying to port them over, and it just didn't work. And it was just like everybody else did something fun, and they weren't allowed to. You can really tell, like somebody really hates them now, because they're like Frostworm. Yeah, we don't have that in the game. I actually think that's what the Norse Dragon is called. Yeah, not anymore. I'm taking that name. Can you really, like, do that? It's already done. They, they, they'll get an update. When I'm dead. <laughs> Travers. Now. Melee defense when defending Hero's army is pretty strong. Fire assistance for the entire army. Immune psychology for the army. Yeah, let's do this. Heavy struggle harder and longer. Kind of stronger in the ends. Norsk is also weird because Norska is synonymous with chaos in the lore, right? There's no Norsk in faction. They're all like chaos. Warriors of Chaos is just, you know, Norskins. Yes, my lord. You'll see updates. Not that yeah, Vampire Coast, we tried that, everyone else, um, for two campaigns, and like, dang, that's <laughs> that's a campaign I'm not touching again in a long while. Good for people who like it, but dang. Because the problem with Norska and Ogres is that they need reworks, but they're really fun in battles. Like, they're really good. I tried some, um, some Ogre mods, like the Ogre Hole and stuff like that, and it helps, but it's not enough. for things yeah i mean like they they need a lot of boss at this point so let's be honest there's like let us begin they have so many core problems that they they actually need to like go in there and just check them out at this point like do a sweep over everything and act like an actual rework like now they're doing actual reworks right like gelt college of magic This getting giving people great wants and stuff. Getting cataclysm spells, everything like a lot of fun stuff, right? Very different now from what's 
Carl was even gets moved over here. He has a little narrative based dilemmas going for him. A bunch of stuff like that. Like, it's cool. You never expected that. They changed how uh, technology, they put in like more skills, everything like that. We should NOS. Okay, listen, everyone. Look, we have to team up about this. Not for real, okay? We need to team up about this. And it's to NOS. Say you only need to do this, and this is very easy for for companies. Okay, like places like CA, they're very competent. They're actually no like if you give them time and resources, they can create create really cool things. You don't need to say that they just need to reskin things. Just just put in a skill tree. Do easy things, because they can do really cool stuff. You should hold them to that standard. Don't let them get away with stuff. What brings you here? Just greedy. Don't let him get away with that then. Expect better. Say that he want better stuff. What does the Emperor bid? Is it enough what they did now? Pretty cool reworks they did. I think. Is it much better? You, you try it yourself when it, when it gets released, the reworks. See what you think. Tell them what you think. Other stuff that you want is uh, fixed in? Make a, a thread on, in the forums or, or Reddit or something like that. See if other people agree with you. Get that going. He's still just sitting at my feast, being angry as soon as I move. I'm gonna see if he likes his new bed face. He does not. Large updates. Yeah, that's been working well so far, hasn't it? That's DLC. Let's give up on the high notes. It's it's definitely not the last one. But I don't. I think they're definitely like tuning down how many DLCs they'll make. So now they're checking like the new. Um. Um, the, the new price model, see if that's more popular. Triple DLC? We'll see. If it's popular, they're gonna no keep man. making them. Because we never had three reworks at the same time, which is really, really, really cool, I think. Um, the nation calls. What am I doing with my life right now? It's taking forever. Everyone is taking forever. If you check how many DLCs they've actually made, um, have you ever checked like how many we actually got for like Warhammer One, for example? I think it was somewhere around like fourteen or something like that. Fourteen, sixteen uh, DLCs and free DLCs and big updates uh, for Warhammer One, which lasted one and a half years. Got like 20 something for Warhammer 2 uh, that lasted for four years. Like all the time, it's just getting longer and longer between next DLC, fortunately. So, 
it's not this one staying forever. They like they have slowed down remarkably over the like since 2020. They slowed down so much. Like we used to wait like three or four months between them. Now it's like then was six months. We were getting like one DLC in one year, even though they were always planned for more all time. They just kept getting delayed and shits. What should we do with this one? And, um... Now, you know, we're at eight months or something like that. It's just been more and more all the time. I don't think it's, like, actually the DLCs at this point because it's just been getting slower and slower. Big project? Probably. The nation calls. Okay, we'll wait one more turn here. Ooh, no. Who calls? By Sigma's right. Onwards! So, the... So... I'm understand. No, can't. You Definitely cracks. But it's a company of, I don't know how many they have left, but, you know, at this point, maybe try to aim for, like, more than two DLCs a year. Friendship is more valuable than gold, or so they tell me. Hmm. Race out super well. It's a rework. It's a reworks. A popular races future. Yeah. I mean, that's not the spirits. That's like best possible outcome. You get new things and you get reworks. Like, Stellaris has been around for 2000, since 2016 as well. They've just gotten reworks constantly. People are still into it. It's great. Wait, what landmark next to uh, Erangrod? Yeah, it's been around for a bit. Oh, you mean uh, these things? It's the Empire region. That's new for the um, updates. So the region counts towards Imperial Authority progression. Imperial... Authority measures how many regions within the Empire are owned by your culture and benefits from Imperial Authority secure borders and then you just try to get everyone into like Empire. Keep the Empire Empire. Let us begin. Oh yeah. What? No, you can't equip the Grey Wand on them. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, well. You have this one, though. Get more spell mastery. Do a quest battle. I am ready. Are you? Only time they ever did a season pass was uh, for um, Aero. With me, followers, we will Keep descend into the Inborn Lampires one. This when they just gave them ports and they said this doesn't count as a rework. Or, yeah, we're gonna do him tomorrow, Hudson. My 
arcane talents tell me this place is not unprotected. An ancient, once dead god in pass. All the LCs are paid to win. Because they all give really strong things. Secrets. You will do this for me. The Grim and the Grom, for example, gave uh, the only way to actually get replenishment for uh, for um, greenskins. Only hero they gave this. Begin your advance. Banish the guardians of this place and think of the rewards you will have once the cloak of molten. Grim and the Grom, you heard me. Ready for war? Where are they? Ready for battle? Sigma calls! Spearman! Missiles ready, my crap! We are Sigma dead! Ready, my lord! Hellstorm rocket battery! For Heldenhammer! For the Emperor! The Empire! Knowledge is power! Men of the Empire, doesn't say, yeah, it's like plus no five or some shit. Priest blessed with the gift of making grand speeches. For the good of the Empire, fight! Bring me victory! Outriders! Take the ground! Spearmen! Moving now! Shall you protect us? Ulrich's wrath on them! Fall and start! Whoa! Awaiting order! Formation! March! And four lords, three DLCs. Um... I don't know, honestly. Like, one of my favorite DLCs ever, though, was definitely, um... For updates, was uh, definitely, um... Uh, Champs of Chaos. I love all of those, uh, factions. I love the rework. Update itself was also really cool, because it gave a lot of, like, minor reworks as well, and the more Lampires. did one at a time though didn't they they never had like two reworks even Melted. Steady, man. Sigma. I am master of Shamok. I am master of Shamok. No lingering. What do you bid? We obey. Oh, didn't lose anyone. Huh? 
Amethyst booms. Um, Amethyst booms. No, this is a Nemesis crown we're using. Mortars. Oh, yeah, all right. Yes. Lutzen's mortars. They've been around since Warhammer 3. They're in Electro Count units. Lizman. Oh, there's Thunder Lizards. Um, something else as well. Just campaign mechanics? What campaign mechanics? The Doomstack? No, but I might do this. Great weapons. We can go and help the other dude. I must keep moving. Jade Wizard, come forth. I am ready. Are you? Is the campaign mechanic for the listmen, or just maybe for one of them that has this? Because two of them have mechanics, but the listmen don't. Like, what are you doing? Have a good Sunday. Fucking lame. Nah, they don't. They don't bad. They're fun. I I like them. They just, they, they just don't have campaign mechanics. You summon me. I am the supreme patriarch. It is time. It's me. Barely play them. They're cool, I think. I like them. Just don't have a lot of stuff going for them right now. Agreed. Their battles are cool. They have croak. Very well. I will do this. What other wizard should we have here? Celestial Order. What uh, what do we have here then? Palmet of Casandora. Noise. Mechanic. Nice. Actions like some VFX. They also have um, the funniest Simlish. Plus, they do have. Um, Heirlooms of magic come. Let us begin. Um, you know, the uh, they have. Um, Let us move. Oxyotl. Oxyotl, I, I I laugh every time I, I talk to him in, in the diplomacy screen. He's called them hilarious, and I don't know why people don't think so. This is literally skink ASMR, right? He's just saying nonsense into a microphone. 
Mandy, you have to like go and record that, and he's literally like. <laughs> I don't know why, I think it's hilarious. It's like him and the Chaos Dwarfs I always crack up on. Ulrika Magdava, their bellies, throats, and groins! So? Seek out the heretics. Pick up the pace! Problems aren't as fun. I think um, the Chaos Dwarves are pretty funny though. Because it's like literally just Chaos Simlish. Upari ba pupa tu! Sula hu? A battle barn. It's like going over there to the jukebox, being your pants. Have to tell and go sleep. <laughs> Sula hu! Waddle Baron, eventually. Maybe they're just going to shop at the Waddle Barn. Ringy. You stand before the Supreme Patriarch like an ant before the descending boot. Nope. Keep yeah, Vladimir Pervac. You summon me. Comes from other Pervacs before him. Shaman, I will. What does the Emperor bid? Step to it! I will marshal the men. Stay in my stead. Yes, my lord. Yes. Ulrich's will. Long line of perps, yeah. I am the supreme patriarch. Let us begin. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's not get a hell there ourselves here. You know, standing outside someone's window, asking if you're allowed to watch. Suddenly got a family name. Into the shadows. Ooh, armor success chance. Well, plus 28. That's really strong. Holy shit. I love these new things. They're really good. I am ready. Some people I don't like new and fun things, though. Which is fine. You don't need to. Yeah, payment range plus five there as well. Now I don't think I can justify using Hunt's Master General anymore. Here we can. You're like it's a funny get up there, Mr. Magic Man. They're like Hunt's Master General. You summon me. <laughs> like raw raw raw. Master say yeah, who uses Master Assassins? That's understandable. Do it for flavor when you're playing a snitch. Some of the best, coolest, the most fun armies I've ever used though is when I've used other stuff like ILs. Obviously, the best thing you can have is uh, Archmage. That's like hands down. You can't can't compete with them. But having like one dude on a Griffin. Griffin leading an army that I got in like cannons from the dwarves with. That was pretty cool. Cathay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep.
Who calls? King Tank Mouse. I am a Why? Why do you not feast your eyes on us? Why do you not... Let glory be the steam, steam tank mod. Why do not behold it in all its glory? The Empire. Automaton horsey. Automaton horse is really cool. That's like something people have been asking for a very long time. No joke. Like the automaton horse is something people have, have been asking for a very long time. Moving off. Do we try to get Gotten and Felix before we end today? This one is really hard. Really, really hard. My grip now, kitty. Never escape. You smell so weird. As the day of mystery thins the veil between worlds, Slanesh enacts his vengeance, dragging enemies from across the mortal world into his dark realm. Among the captured, the rogues Gotrek and Felix fight, battling. To I laughed the first time I saw that. They've been getting slung, uh, flung out of a por portal into like a big battlefield. I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's canonically accurate. Would weaken the Dark Prince's grip. That happens. It's protecting them. The matter of time when you open one of those books, something like that will happen. I think it's smaller. No matter the price. Gotrek and Felix cannot fall. I think it's only one of those. Their survival will deal Slanesh a deadly blow and prove vital in the adventures to come. I, oh, yeah. Ready to serve. There's a trick to this. That I will try to uh, to do. Listen up, Spearmen for the Emperor. That makes this very hard fight into very easy. I understand. For Helden Hammer, ready. The Empire. Cavalry ready. Finding range, sir. Soldiers of the Empire! Marina! Guide our aim! Alright, let's see if we can do this. We are First of all, you need to guess these dudes up here. Then, if you simply make them move... Thought that would happen, but... Uh, I didn't want to do anything against this, because I'm lazy as shit. What you want to do is just make them move. You hurt them once, and then they actually stop summoning as well. Incredibly effective, actually. Weirdly enough. Yeah, there we go. Supreme. Yep. No lingering. The Empire in 
backline is getting shredded, but that's what it is. As long as these dudes survive and we manage to kill them, uh, they're both doing really well, so it's fine. Going to kill these dudes. No! That's an order. Armor, Ready for war. As long as you touch them with anything, could be artillery, magic, uh, gyrocopters. You don't have to deal with the cost and summons. Makes it so much easier. It's like crazy. Super easy. Level three. Yeah. As long as you just kill those, it gets so much easier. So otherwise, if you don't do that, it is very easy to get wrecked. If you don't focus on those things. I am supreme. I always think like is is gonna continue down. I am supreme. I like hamburger. The deluxe supreme. Nice. I'm sure I yeah, you don't really use Supreme that much anymore, do you? Now we unlock Gotrek and Felix. Uh, unfortunately, Gotrek doesn't spawn for me. So, yeah, that's uh, how it is. The arm is hard. Yeah. Basically down. You summon me. One day we'll have him. One day. It is uh, noted and it's fixed for um, a release. Felix's new skill line though is an pretty cool. Is an oak. Dragon Slayer. 50 AP, 25. Fire assistance. Evasion. Vanguard. Charge bonus. Melee attack. Melee defense. 8 and 5. In good times. Mark of Hish. Sigmars. Ward. You know, normal. Helping hand. Ward attack. Damage resistance around somebody. Uh, lethal romance. Charmed attacks. Incredibly strong. Incredibly. Growth. For Kirsten, remembering Kirsten's death and Manfred's hands. Uh, weapon strength, bone strength infantry. Sweet talker, immune to trespassing. The land relation, plus 20 with men and dwarves. I don't know why men is not capitalized, but I guess it's just, you know, in, like, general. Glorified sentry. Guardian. Bitter ends. Commit blood oath. Gets healing around heroes. 50 meters. An unbreakable replaces blood oath. So it's 25 instead of, it's 25 instead of 0 0.20. And it's 55 instead of 35. So it's, yeah, 50 meters. No romance here. Yeah. I got this, or you haven't. Felix is capable of dashing anyone or anyone. It's pretty charming in the books though. You know, to uh, to do the body cop thing with Gautrek, because Gautrek is grumpy and an awful, horrible person most of the time. Still here. Can I be of assistance? 
Raise Sigma. It is time onwards. And Godric. No, Godric is like a good person deep down, but you have to dig like really, really deep for him to be a good person. He is though deep down, like mine some Moria too deep. Ready. Still. Good person. So. I am a supreme patriarch. Emperor's finest on that dude, yeah. Eureka, get increased mobility as well. Bloodforge later on. Cool beans. Now. Got a bunch of books as well. This one, Oak and Sickle. Gets minus six for regrowth upgraded. That stonk as Hick. Marks 20 for all lore win or uh, lore of life spells as well. Like, these things are so, so strong. So much fun as well. It takes the time to get all these though. And people can probably like. You know, get there really fast later on though. The but. For now. Cool things, regardless. Okay. Show me the accused. That's gonna be uh, it for me today. Let's see if we can uh, host anyone. Shall we? And raid. Hey guys, for hanging out. Hope you been doing well um hope you enjoyed this this today as much as i did tomorrow we're doing carl checking out his rework as well this is slightly different um do 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 let's see who we can Hosterino. Oh, 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 Hosterino. Let's, uh, yeah, we can raid Leslie. All right. Thank you guys for hanging out. We'll see you tomorrow for Gelt. And, um, appreciate you hanging out. You're pretty cool. And to the ones on YouTube. I don't know how to do the raid thing there yet, so that's gonna be a while. Adieu. Thanks for hanging out.